Okay, I was expecting him to talk, but it, I see text, but no voice. I hear no voice. Okay. Anyway, they were having a little. They were having uh, several conversations while I was waiting. So we're playing some more Baldur's Gate. Um, I'm trying to remember what happened last time. Basically, I remember the time before last, we finally got to the Goblin Village and really didn't do much. You know, as is tradition with this game for me. And then the next stream, last one, we we went back because we leveled up at the end of the stream. We went back to fight those gnolls who were messing with a shipment. And by doing that, we saved somebody. Uh, we only saved one of them. The other one only had 12 health and was brutally, brutally melted in acid. Not really a chance to save him. All right, shut up, you. Shut, shut up, you. I can't get away from them. Stop talking. The she receives from other minds is difficult to emulate. Oh, yeah, they eat brains. I mean, they are called mind flares. So, hi, Scandy. Uh, so we got a password from the guy. And we, then we found, actually, strangely enough, we went like straight to the place that, that their place was, their little hideout. We went underground to their little thieves den, made friends with them. Um, if we hadn't saved them, it might have gone badly. But since we saved the guy, they were like, yeah, come on in. You're fine. Then we found an entrance to the Underdark. I don't know a lot about D&D, but I do know what the Underdark essentially is. It's kind of like Hollow Earth. It's just like a place underground. Like right now, we are underground. Now, I know the Underdark is probably bigger than this, but I'm assuming it's in, like, compartmentalized pieces. Otherwise, it'd probably be too hard to get around because it'd just be, like, this entire huge area. Uh, we came down here. We found a guy called, Ra I think his name was Raphael, and we talked to him. He said that he might have a deal for us to get the tadpole mind flare thing out of our head. But he's a demon, so we weren't too keen on the idea. We've also been exploring over here. We've actually found a friendly, a friendly mind flare. He somehow broke away from like the, the sort of hive mind that the mind flares have. And he told us that the tadpole, it kind of confirmed our suspicions a little bit. We found someone in our dreams called the guardian. And they told us that our, we should embrace the powers of the tadpole and that they, in our case, she, my, my guardian in the beginning I made was female. Um, she said that she would keep us from turning. She has kept us from turning. I have never seen anything like it. Like we assumed so that there was some reason why the mind flare hadn't turned, had the mind flare tadpole hadn't turned us yet. And one night we were feeling sick and we had a vision in our dreams. And this guardian told us that you can embrace the powers to defeat the mind flares. Like, you know, kind of like, somewhat become one to fight them, use their power against them. And in turn, she would keep us from turning. I don't fully trust her, though. What's to stop her? Like, once we defeat her enemy, who's to stop? Like, she'll probably just be like, all right, well, I'm done. And then we'll just immediately turn into a mind flare and she'll kill us. Like, I don't fully trust her. This guy actually confirmed that a little bit. He said the tadpole in our brain is fully developed. But there's a magic it's not only keeping the Mind Flare Tadpole from taking us over, but is also keeping anybody from touching it or removing it. But our friendly Mind Flare has told us if we can find two mushrooms, he might be able to d get rid of one part of the spell and then remove the Tadpole from us. So we're going to go find some mushrooms. <laughs> today's, today's quest begins with mushroom farming. Hello, Jeebus. So, I don't exactly know how we're going to find the mushrooms. What are, what are they called? What are the mushrooms we're looking for here? I like how this just went, it like, this this must be how D&D &D works, right? My mission was to go to Goblin Town and talk to them about, like, attacking the other people. And now, all of a sudden, I'm finding mushrooms underground. <laughs> as long as I don't take too many long rests, we're, we're fine, though. Like, if we can get the mushrooms without having to make, maybe take more than one long rest, we should be able to go back up and continue our quest. So, the tower belongs to a cleric of Mistra named Lenore. 
Find the mushrooms. Okay. Uh, Omaloom requires a tongue of madness mushroom and some Timask spores. We can find both of these in the mysterious tower nearby. To the tower. We want to get rid of these mind, the mind flare tadpoles. There is a thing in this game where you could decide to embrace it. I'm not doing that. I want it gone. Uh, we actually did not finish looking down here. There was a path to go down here. And there was also a path to go somewhere over here, which might have, we might have to get to from here. Because this is kind of like blocked off a little bit. Uh, I have never played D&D. I've played a few games that have a system that's similar. Like I played Neverwinter. Neverwinter is more of an MMO button clicky refresh time game. Kind of like Swator, I guess, or like, I guess Final Fantasy 14 as well with its cooldowns. But um, it does have a D&D &D system. It does have D&D &D races, only like six or seven of them. It also has like a handful of the classes with, a, with some slight changes in terms of naming. Like, we had a warrior, but the warrior slash barbarian was called a great weapon fighter. And instead of having a wizard, we had a control wizard, which is all about, like, stunning and freezing. It also used a 5e stat system. Whereas KOTOR used a, like, two or three point something. I don't want to take any, oh. But, oh, I must have gone past something that like spored me. I do not want to make the mushrooms mad at me, so I can't take anything on the ground. Not surprising, when you go into certain places on the surface, you can like take whatever you want off the ground and they don't care. But these mushroom people, mean, these are mushroom people. They're more in tune with nature. So ripping things out of the ground they don't that they consider it theirs so what about just here though oh yeah affected creatures can communicate telepathically yep we can talk to them telepathically because of spores uh hello random dwarf that's down here want master back he treats me good now doesn't kick me anymore Okay. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Hmm. <laughs> I like the game gives me the option to lie and say, yes, I've seen it. Why would I? Why? Why would I lie about that? Uh, can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic. I don't think we saw him. I haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Um. <laughs> All right, look. We have been kind of walking that line between, like, asking for a reward. But look, if I help, like, someone who obviously has nothing to give me and it was, like, the right thing to do, it's like, ah, eh, it's fine. But it's like, I mean, you know, we have other we have other business to take care of. If I'm going to find some random guy for you, I wouldn't mind some, some 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 money or just like, you know, some form of compensation. I think that's OK. Well, who is he to you? My useless husband sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. See. Is this the same husband that kicks your animal? That doesn't seem very nice. Do you actually want to find him? Let's let's trade first. Hi, Ninja. What do you have available? An amulet of restoration. Ooh. I'm guessing these are a long rest. Yes. So with this amulet on, you would get one free healing word and one free mass healing word. Ooh. Heals up to six allies. I mean, healing word is kind of weak, but it is very useful because it's a long range heal spell. That's not bad at all. Kind of like that, especially since I don't think 
I don't think uh, Shadowheart has any... No, she doesn't. I know it might make more sense to give somebody else the healing amulet so someone else has two heal spells. Like, why give it to the person who already has healing spells? I mean, just to make it so I can use more healing. If, if I give it to somebody else, that's a turn they're not attacking. Shadowheart doesn't really have the greatest attack stuff, so... I already have Healing Word. And any turn where Karlak's not attacking is kind of a waste of turn, especially when she's raging. I lose the rage. And Will also has Eldritch Blast. I mean, if you have nothing better to do, Eldritch Blast, you could do far worse than that. I kind of want that. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to sell besides, like, some junk I picked up on my main character. I guess I could throw it in there. I really don't like this weapon. It's cool because it heals you one uh, D6 damage. But at the same time, if you don't attack someone every turn, you have a chance of going mad. I kind of don't like that. I might just save this for Gale to eat. Or sell it. Or sell it. Either way. I have a dagger plus one that's not going to get any use probably, but I kind of want to hang on to it. It might be useful for something. This could be sold or eaten by Gale. It's only worth 64 gold. I think I'd rather save that to have uh, as a Gale snack. Well, Shadowheart is interesting because she's not the typical cleric. Like one time I did a deception roll and she approved. She's similar in my character in that it's okay to deceive people as long as the outcome is better than the alternative. The other outcome was just fight. I'd have to fight and kill them. So in, I guess in her mind, just like mine, it's better to lie than it is to just like be honorable and tell the truth and then have to fight. Of course, if I'm playing as a paladin, um, whenever I do my paladin playthrough off stream, which I'll role play as like, you know, typical devotion paladin, I, I won't be doing that. <laughs> so Shadowheart's probably going to be mad at me a couple times. You could have just lied, but that wouldn't be honorable. Uh, well, the junk is going to be down here. I kind, I you know, I was going to say I kind of want to save the great sword. I have a, I have a uh, recipe that I can combine a great sword, dagger, or sickle with some kind of bark that apparently the person at the tower we're going to studies. She might have some, but I already have two good great swords. I'd like to find a sickle. That sounds like a fun weapon. But just to get the just to get like the quest done, I might turn this dagger into something. It is throwable. So I, I, I'm not using Asterion. I, I don't need him. I don't use rogues very well in combat in any game. I'm just not very sneaky. I don't do it well. And I have the utility of a rogue on my character. So I have no need for him. But I'll keep the dagger just in case I want to finish the quest just by doing it. Uh, go to the mall. Wow, I have like nothing to sell. <laughs> I, th I thought I had a little more. I have nothing. I want this though. Uh, two extra heals for uh, for an un for a long rest. I mean, that's that that's fine. What are you? Corrosive flail. Tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one damage anyway. kind of expensive though it's kind of expensive and i'm kind of wondering why it's called a corrosive flail when it has nothing to do with corrosive damage like acid or no no i don't think this is worth 500 gold um ooh. gloves of hail of thorns i get one oh it's a short rest too Whoever wears this gets a free Hail of Thorns cast, and it's on a short rest, which would be perfect for someone like Will, because all his stuff is short rest anyway. He'd just get, like, all his stuff back on short rest. The Thorns deal 7 to 12 piercing damage to the target, and then explode. This is, this is, this is a Needler from Halo. The explosion deals an additional 1 to 10 piercing damage to the target and surrounding creatures. On miss, Thorns still explodes. That's nice. On save? Oh, it's a save spell. It's a save spell. Well, on save, target still takes half from the explosion. 
for only 162 gold? I mean, I'm... Hey, every extra spell I get means less resting, which means less long rests, which means less opportunities to miss out on story stuff. I kind of like that. Yeah. Herbalist Gloves. Cleansing Touch. If the wearer heals a poison creature, it is no longer poisoned. This is good, but very situational. Um, I mean, if we happen to run into a place that has a lot of poison stuff, this could be good on Shadowheart. It, it could be good to just hang on to, in case poison area. Maybe the game is trying to tell me something. Ring of Jumping. Uh, this increases, yeah, triples your jump distance. Okay. Caustic Band. Your weapon attacks also deal two acid, acid damage. Bah, that's not bad. For 72 gold? I'll slap that on Carlac. She'll do fire and acid damage. Then we have Chainmail plus one, which is a heavy armor, which nobody on my team can equip. So, uh, heavy armor, same thing. Ooh, medium armor. You take one less slashing damage. Hmm. Oh, I can't. I hate that I have to, when I switch a person, it like deletes everything out of here. Or does it? I think it just deletes what I have here. Let me, let me double check here. Yeah, okay. You have armor 15. And this is, I think, a little better for her. I like the look of it. But the one less slashing, I don't think, is as good as every time I deal radiant damage, it causes a radiant shockwave, which gives them like a little orb above them, which makes them like have harder chance of hitting, I think. Because she actually has a radiant damaging move. Plus minus one slashing, it's like, eh, it's fine. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, a chain shirt, which is medium armor. No. Uh, Carlac, what is your... Carlac still has just straight, just like, just bog standard scale mail with 14 AC and no bonuses. So maybe something better for Carlac. I, I guess this is good for Carlac, actually. One less slashing damage and plus one AC. I'm spending all my money. <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to do with the money? I feel like I've been neglecting my teammates... Stop. I mean, look at Carlac. She doesn't have a necklace or e or two rings. I've kind of been neglecting my team's uh, accessories. That's good for Carlac. Heavy crossbow plus one, light crossbow plus one. See, Car for Carlac, I actually do have a spear on her that's called the spear. Return it's the returning pike. When you throw the spear, it comes back. Here's the thing, though. When you throw it, it gets equipped. Carlac's best weapon by far is that fire sword from the beginning of the game. Which is cool. If I throw the spear, though, she equips the spear, which means I have to I have to waste a turn, an action, to equip the sword back. Here's the cool thing, though, that I figured out last time. If I'm facing an enemy that has ex that takes extra damage from um, piercing, rather than spend a turn equipping the pike, I can throw it at them. And then when it comes back, I automatically equip it for the fight. That's why I still have it. Otherwise, she already has a heavy crossbow that's called Herald. I don't know why it's called Herald. Oh, it's actually down there. It's named after Harold Butterbisk, who owned the Butterbisk Inn. It's also really good because it has a chance of baiting the target for two turns. Which is good. Hey, Blue. I've really wanted to play Cyberpunk. It seems like my kind of game, right? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Garrus is here. Yay. And now I'm a potato. Potato. Uh, the reason why I didn't play Cyberpunk though is I have it on PC. But um, it does have controller support, but it feels, it feels weird. Controller support on Cyberpunk on PC feels really weird, and I have a very hard time aiming. And in that kind of game, you kind of have to aim. Like, I miss all my shots. Generally, in a game like that, I like to go pistols and go for headshot damage. I'm not the best, you know, pew-pewer, 
But in, in games like that are kind of play like that, I like going like, like Borderlands. In Borderlands, I always went pistols. I like them. Ammo's easy to find. And they're actually more powerful than you think. But since I can't aim, <laughs> it makes them kind of useless. All right. Who's sponsoring today? I don't have any Baldur's Gate sponsors. Oh, Today's stream is sponsored by Mind Flares. That's it. Uh, let's eat your brain. Do, do, now where did I put that? There it is. Today's stream is sponsored by the Officer's Academy of Garrick Mock. The Officer's Academy of Garrick Mock has exactly what your heir needs to succeed. Our rigorous curriculum educates the students in the arts of warfare, magic, and leadership. Taught by the best and most talented experts of Fodlin, Notable alumni include hot dog eating champion Raphael of the Lester Alliance, accomplished painter Ignaz Victor, and elite napper Linhart von Henring. Hevering, I always pronounce his name wrong. For nobles and commoners alike, the Officers Academy is the only institute for greatness. Notice how it doesn't mention Lawrence. We don't talk about him. But yeah, I tried to do pistols, and I was just like, no. With the way the game aims for me, no. Then I went sword, because um, I got a free sword in the beginning. That was pretty good. If I'm going to play the game, I think I just have to go, like, melee, because I can't aim. I'm already spending a thousand gold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Luckily, though, I think that's it. I think that's all I need. I mean, it's good stuff. I could also get some potions. I could buy seven potions for only 126 gold. Like, regular potions are pretty cheap. Because they're not that good. Um, I, I could buy this one potion of greater healing for only 29 gold. This is why I'm so low on potions. This is like KOTOR, where I should be buying like more med kits wherever I go. Uh, I kind of want to buy more trap to, uh, disarm things, because I only have two. I'll buy one. I also, am, I'm, I'm kind of, I need to use more more poisons as well, but I've been finding them fairly regularly, so I don't think I have to buy them. A thousand gold. Yeah, see, I don't know what that's from. Like I said last, I think I said it last stream. I am not really a movie person. I'm a TV. I'm a, I'm like a certain TV series person. And no, that does not mean I've seen like every TV series. It means I've seen a couple, but several times. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. Hey, you ever watch this TV series? No, because I'm busy watching through Star Trek for the fifth time. Speaking of which, did you know there's a, new, there's a Star Trek show with a new season that started a few weeks ago? Lower Decks. Lower Decks is on season four. Lower Decks is great. Like, I, I almost discounted Lower Decks initially. It's just kind of like a dumb animated comedy show of Star Trek. But it's gotten so much better. Like, even season one's still good, but it's gotten better and better. If you like Star Trek and, like, would get certain Star Trek, uh, like, Easter eggs and stuff, Lower Decks is fantastic. Every episode, it's like, oh, that... I don't want to spoil it, but the first episode of season four, I loved it because it had so many callbacks to a certain series. And I was every single callback. I was like, I know what that is. 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 <laughs> like it was, it was really fun. It was really fun. Yeah, it's, it, it's so much like there are sometimes there are scenes where it's like two frames you know, you see like a you see a you see a room for like half a second. And if you freeze frame it, it's like so many things from the series. They'll pull like an item from one episode of something. You can tell the people who make the show. I mean, you could argue they just have like a binder full of stuff they could pull from, but it does feel like it's crafted well. Like it just it feels like whoever is making the show likes Star Trek. It kind of just has that feel. 
kind of like uh, like some shows where it almost feels like the writers don't like the source material and they're like actively going out of their way. <coughs> Halo. <coughs> um. All right, let's 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 do it. Wait, what? Why did it only put two hundred? Oh, wait, hold on. Why is it? That was weird. I hit barter and only put 200 gold in there. Odd. Maybe that's all she had on her. Because everyone has certain amounts of gold on them, I think. Looks good. It's pleased. Awesome. Bye, money. I'll miss you, money. I'll look for him for a price. I just spent over a thousand gold. I need money. <laughs> Please. I know better than to promise coin to a stranger. He'll find his own way out, or he won't. I'll wait a little longer. What a bleeding waste it'll be to come all the way down here for nothing. Well, that tells you something. I offered to find him for money, and she was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm fine. If he doesn't come back, he doesn't come back. Hmm. This looks like I might be able to go in there, doesn't it? Kind of? Yeah, there's an area back here. With a dead body. How do I get how do I get back there? Hmm. Anyone else want to perceive something? That's curious. Hmm. Is there a way in that way? Maybe? Hmm. Oh! Oh! It actually pops up now. It's locked. Can you lockpick a bunch of vines? <laughs> okay, you can't. Yeah, you can't. That would have been interesting. I could bash it down. Oh, uh, we're not doing that. I don't want to make enemies of the mushroom people. At least not yet. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go this way to kind of like open uh, to finish up the map over here. Ooh, nope, nope, can't take it. Okay, there. Map is complete. If you've ever played a game like, uh, best example I can think of is Dragon Age Inquisition or Andromeda, you know that it's like, you know, finish off that map. Finish off that map. Also, Fog of War is your friend. I still say one of the dumbest things you can do in KOTOR is when you're on when you're at a terminal is to download the map of the area because then you don't know where you've been. That's where Fog of War comes in handy. Something's on my mind. Seek me. Seek the sovereign. Sovereign. Those mushrooms can raise the dead. That's Interesting. What's a little hmm. Okay, this leads up to the goblin area, I believe, but we don't want to go up there just yet. I'm afraid I'm going to pop up in like a an area I'm not supposed to be, and the goblins will just attack me immediately. So we're not going up there just yet. Ah. Uh. Also, out of all the enemies I've found down here, I don't think I want to fight the mushroom people. They kind of scare me a little bit. <laughs> so, here's the tower. Wow, this area is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm, I'm hoping this isn't the whole... I was hoping this would be like a smaller Underdark area. But, maybe not. Uh, That's how you get back up to the surface, where the druids are. All right, let's go. Let's go find the mushroom picker. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, also before I go any further. How about all the stuff I just bought? Now who gets this? Who wants the extra spale of, spale? Spale? The extra spell of Hail of Thorns. Spale of Thorns. It's a spell. I think Will. Except the only issue with that is Will has Eldritch Blast, which is just like a nice go-to long-range spell. But this is actually better because it does more damage and it can explode in a group. It's like a good AoE single target combo kind of thing. What, what gloves do you have on, Will? Oh, you have those on. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's okay. Well, I mean, Shadowheart doesn't have really any damaging spells. Would it be so bad to give Shadowheart a damage spell? No. The thing is, like, I don't, I kind of don't want to give this to Shadowheart because her AC is 19. While Wheels is only 17. She is, he is less like, he is more likely to be hit by arrows than she is. So giving this to him is more beneficial. Basically, if you're hit by a ranged attack, it reduces the damage by a D10. I wanted to give it to Karlak. She has the lowest AC, but I gave her this. Whenever the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. It's only good on a barbarian. Even if I hardly ever do it. So either I give either I give Shadowheart Hail of Thorns. So when she's not healing, she can use it. Or I give her this and give Will that. But this will make Will more susceptible to long range attacks if I take it off. And his AC is too lower. It's yeah, for the sake of keeping Will more alive. Uh, I'll give Hail of Thorns to Shadowheart. Just a free damage spell that she can use. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> oh, I saw it. But no, like you're on the right track. I would not want to fight mushroom people. You know, their initial thing would just be to shake themselves and spores go everywhere and we just die. I would not want to fight just like from like from my from my from my experience with like mushroom Pokemon. I would not want to fight mushrooms. Mushrooms tend to have very annoying stuff like spore or effect spore ability where you hit them and you're like randomly poisoned or paralyzed, like fight fighting something like it, like a among us, you know, or something. It's just it's annoying. Herbalist gloves. Now, I did just give those gloves to Shadowheart. These gloves are also good for Shadowheart because when she heals them, it also heals their poison. But it's very situational. I'm only going to have this on Shadowheart if we're in a poison area, which the game is probably telling me it's here. But I'll put it on her for now. If we find ourselves in a poison fight, I'll put them on. Ah. Birthday dinner. Yay. Yeah, you're one year older. That's fun. <laughs> birthday ramen, huh? I mean, I haven't had a birthday cake since I was like 10. I actually don't like cake that much. One of my birthday parties, I had a big cookie. Anyone ever, anyone ever get that big cookie when they were a kid? <laughs> like you went to it. We actually, when I went to that arcade place that had like free arcade games in the back for the entire day, you could rent it for kids' birthday parties. Instead of getting a cake, I got like this giant cookie <laughs> that you cut. And the last time I actually got something for my birthday, I got Chinese food, so. Close enough. There were noodles in there. I had a lo mein, not ramen, but with some orange chicken and some rice. Mm. This goes on Carlac. Well, it wasn't even a cookie cake. It was just a cookie. It was just big cookie, like big, thick cookie that you could cut. This is also for Carlac. Come on, let's go. It'll give me an AC of plus one and minus one to slashing. Also, I think I like the look of it a little better. Now, is that worth the money? 
I got a free spell I can use on a short rest. I got this in case there's a poison fight. What else did I get? <laughs> I, got, I know I got more than that. I got the armor for Carlex, so she has 17 AC now. And I got the uh, plus two. At, yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. I think I made some good, some good buying decisions. Also, hello, Mimikiri. When when do you are you on your trip right now? I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh, I can actually take stuff again. We're far enough away. Good. Good. I'll take that. I need to do um. I need to do some alchemy. I've been putting off doing alchemy this whole time. Over. I can probably make a lot of potions. Well, good. A deep hole. <laughs> Very descriptive. So where does the deep hole... Looking into the hole, you see only darkness. It's impossible to tell how deep it goes by sight alone. I hope there's an option to jump in. Oh, there's no option to just jump in like an idiot. Oh, come on. You know, the only ramen I've ever had in my life is the, uh, what is the, what is the name brand of the ramen? Like the super cheap ramen. It's not top ramen. It's the other one that begins with M. That is the only ramen I've had my entire life. It's just that cheap, like tens cost 10 cents when I was a kid and ate it. And that's the ramen I've had. It can only go up from there. I still enjoy it every now and then. Man, it has, it has so much salt. It has so much salt. Like, as, as I've gotten older, I've I, you can feel that kind of stuff more and more. As a kid, I, I mean, I eat two packs of the ramen. That's a meal. Like, one pack of ramen with something else would be a meal. But I, I just have the ramen. Maruchan? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I just have, like, two, two packets of ramen in a big bowl, and I'm done. That's all I eat. It has so much salt. <laughs> it's so salty. As a kid, I never really noticed, but as an adult, if I eat that much of that ramen, I feel uh, like a balloon. Like, my whole body is, like, filled with salt. Hello! Your call echoes as it plunges downward, before gradually fading away. Into the oh, come on. <laughs> I can't do anything besides leave. All right, well. You know what? Probably a good thing. It's probably a good thing. Yes, um, it's always re it's recommended to use like. Grooves. Still fresh. Something with massive claws made this. Oh. That, you know what, Carlac? Good job. Now I know something's coming. Good. Um, it was always recommended to me to use like half the packet for ramen, but ramen, the ramen is kind of already so tasteless that if you use half the packet, I might as well just not eat it. Like I made like half packet ramen before and it's just like, mmm, really watered down ramen flavor. I would have more luck using my own spices and just not adding salt. Like, the whole point is to use the packet that has, like, all the tasty stuff in it. You know, like, that nice, you know, that nice processed, completely fake taste. Mmm, <laughs> fake chicken flavor. But if I was only going to use half the packet, you're still getting, like, 70% of your daily sodium from that. I would just, at that point, make my own seasoning. Severed arm. Hmm. Oh, it's called Dread Hollow. Nice. I love it. <laughs> well, 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 oh, it's actually killing me. I just took so much damage from that. Well, I've been trying to avoid short rests and like long rests. I just took so much damage. <laughs> I did not realize it did that much damage to me. Uh, 
Uh, good job, me. Good job. Also, have no short rests left, including my barred one. Let's get going. Well, that's fun. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I could do this one that gives us five temporary hit points and also heals us for five health, but I'm actually going to go into my spells and put in this one. Go for it. I hate that I had to waste a tier two spell for that. But look how much it healed us. And because of a thing she has on, everyone got three tempest points. Yay. Now, it might make more sense to do that right before a fight because the bless is already gone. That's OK. I also have a thing on Shadowheart where if I heal somebody, they get blessed for like two turns. These things suck. I'm going to start destroying them. What the? Karlak was Karlak was inspired because he's a mushroom enthusiast. I can see that. What's happening? Why did the why did the music get like all fighty for a second? I don't know. I don't know why the music just went like all crazy for a second. Uh, does this stuff go away? Can I burn it away? Oh, yeah, I can. Now it's on fire. <laughs> it's fine. Fire doesn't last too long. I can just wait for the fire to wear off. It's fine. Looking ahead. See? The fire's already gone. Why is the music picking up? What is happening? Oh! Oh, that's why it's picking up. I see. A hook horror. What are you? It's a monstrosity. AC 15, 18 strength. It's dumb. This creature can perceive its surroundings without relying on sight. It has dark vision, which is a weird combination. Uh, it has multi-attack. I see. Well, if I can get the jump on it, I can keep the high ground. Like, if I wait for it to be down here and then go this way, I can get the high ground and just kill it from above. I should probably go. Here, let's sneak. I never sneak. Yeah, we're going to be quiet. Oh, we're going to go the other way real quick. Okay, it turned around. It feels like my magic is getting drained. Let's get out of that. <laughs> now I'm going to do a sneak attack on it. It's going to be cool. Good job, Kennison. It's 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 only Kennison in the fight. This is why sneak attacks are so good. I understand how this game should be played like I'm in mean, Max perspective. I've seen people do this. They just go into the fight with like one person and they'll like, oh, it's this person's turn. I get another sneak attack. And now Shadowheart has joined the fight. And then I go to Karlak, who's still not in the fight. And I get a sneak attack with her. And then I go to Will. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I had to get too close for that. That's okay. It still, it still didn't count. I don't think. No, it counted. Never mind. Well, crap. <laughs> hey, not bad though. It's already down to half health. Still on my feet. Kennison is. Oh wait, that was. Oh, see, I remember sneak attack things being like a free attack, and then when it, and then you need to go again. But in this game, I guess it's not. I know the rogue can do this dumb thing where it like it like. Go, it goes into combat with a sneak attack and then you can exit. You can like somehow disengage and exit combat in sneak mode and then go back in again. It's dumb. <laughs> it's very dumb. 
Unfortunately, those were my moves. I thought those were going to be like an extra attack. Oh, well. On the victor's path. It could have been worse. I think that went okay. I kind of want to separate a little bit in case this guy has like an AOE, like, like, you know, like 180 degree, like slash thing. So let's kind of like separate a little bit. I think maybe in order for it to be free, it has to literally be a sneak attack, which I think only Rogue has. Let's go. Karlak has bonus actions. I could rage, but I only have one left. Soldier. It's going to get in the front. I'm ready. Shadowheart also has the best AC of all of us, which is pretty ridiculous since she's a cleric. So you also get up here. Kind of block the path. Protect the squishies. Echoes in the... Uh-oh. 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 Hells, we're attracting too much attention. Now, luckily, nothing showed up. If I can kill this on this turn, maybe nothing shows up. I do still like how my bard is supposed to be like a debuffer in a fight, but I keep using him to just double attack with my hand crossbows. It's good. I do like 15 to 20 damage on average. Well, it's probably like 12 to 20, but that's good. And I'm trying to save my spells for like a boss fight that I might run into. I'm going to do Vicious Mockery. It has an okay chance of hitting, and if it hits, the next attack will have disadvantage. Cutting to the chase. How awesome. And as my bonus action, I will shoot my hand crossbow. Awesome. That was a good turn. Vicious Mockery did three damage. It affected him. And I did 11 damage with my crossbow. This Not my bad. <laughs> well, Will, you have now missed twice. Can you, okay, for, Will missed with advantage the first time, which was like 90%, and then Will missed again on 70%. Will is already having a bad day. It's also going to be very bad for us, because we're probably not going to kill this in, one, in this turn. It's going to be a very bad day for us when one of these things shows up. Or more than one. Shadow Hearts. What can you do damage-wise? I don't want to use a spell because you only have one left of each. I could do Sacred Flame. If it hits, I believe they have it has a disadvantage of some kind on attack. What, what is that again? Radiant Orb. Affected entity has a minus one to attack rolls per remaining turn. It also sheds bright light in an area surrounding it. Okay. I might go for that. Or I could go for my new uh, Hail of Thorn spell. I could try it. It's kind of a waste on a single target, though. What's just my, what's just my standard long range attack? 65%. Which is a four, which is a four to eleven, and this is one to eight, but has a debuff to it. Use this. Great. Uh, if Will had connected on his seventy percent move, we might have been fine. But unfortunately, I believe we're gonna have to fight another one of these things. All right, Karlak, it's go time. Unless Karlak gets like a super crit. Yeah, if I get, like, max damage, plus a crit. <laughs> See, I could do Reckless Attack. 84% chance of hitting. The problem is, it makes them have advantage on me the next turn. Which means it's almost guaranteed to hit. And if it does multi-attack, that's a lot of damage. If I had gotten them down to, like, 15 health, I would have gone for it. But I missed two of my attacks, so. What's it gonna take? All right, Karlak, you can do it. Get a crit. I missed. 
Um, I could do this, but there's no guarantee it'll kill. It probably won't. Even if it hits, it won't. So at worst, at best, this enemy is going to survive and have advantage on Karlak. At worst, another one shows up and also has advantage on Karlak. I can't do it. If that had a decent chance to kill, I would have done it. Now, I could go for the Flourish, or the Pommel Strike in this case. I could daze them, but all daze does is disadvantage on wisdom saving throws and can't take reactions and lose dexterity bonus to the armor class. Which is zero, so... Well, don't... Good miss. Vicious Mockery! I'd almost forgotten about that. Vicious Mockery made that miss. Good job, Kennison. Now we certainly can kill this. I shouldn't have said that. Why did I say that? I shouldn't have said that. You know what? I didn't say it. Roll to forget. I'm going to roll so everyone forgets I said that. An 11. Well, with my advantage, to, with my advantage, my skill to persuasion, Kennison has a plus six in persuasion. That's a 17. I convinced chat that I did not say that. Therefore, it will not uh, jinx me. Because I never said it. I did miss an attack. <laughs> Which isn't fantastic. Will, you've already missed this twice. Could you please? You know what? What is your melee to hit? Not enough movement. Okay, never mind. Will... I need you to hit this. That was good. That was like, that wasn't max damage, but it was like, it was more, it was closer to max than not. That, that was good. Hmm. All right, Karlak. I'm actually going to use this now because there's no other enemies on the field. This is a great closer. Because the advantage is now going to be gone in like two seconds. And gone. All right. What now? Great closing attack. Moving ahead. No, no, no. You won't remember that. You have to roll. You have to roll a d20 and like beat, either beat my like roll or beat my like persuasion. <laughs> my charisma save or something. Gotta roll for it. What do you have on you? A hook. That's it. All I got from that fight was a hook. Good, good for me, I guess. Well, crap. Uh, rigged. Can I grab this? It has health, but can I can I just take it with me? What? Oh, come on! How was I supposed to see him up there? Oh, come on, game! <laughs> what is this? What kind of... What, uh, come on, DM! <laughs> and now it has, like, super advantage on me. Ugh. Well, spread out. Can I even, like, 25%? I shouldn't have moved. That's fine. I can vicious mockery it. That's right. Can I break the thing he's standing on? Can I, like, I don't think I can. No, it's too like it's too sturdy. I can't break that. Ugh. What should I do? This is kind of BS. This is kind of this is a very D and D thing. It's like, oh, by the way, there's an enemy way up here, <laughs> just waiting for you. Have to keep going. You have the highest AC. You get up here. I'm gonna try to cast this again to give it disadvantage. Well, it's kind of disadvantage a little bit. Awesome. Radiant Orb. Good. 
Uh, as a bonus action, I will to do nothing. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh yeah, my bo I, I could do a bonus action at 25%, 20%. <laughs> I mean, it's a free action. I lose nothing by doing this. I might as well do it. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Yeah. Like there was no reason not to do it. God, it's hot in here. Carlac, you are actually not useless. I thought you were useless for a second. It's like, oh, you're a barbarian. No, you have a, uh, you have that heavy crossbow that has a chance of baning the target, which is good. Oh. Move up Tactical. here. Forty-five percent. That's all I can do. It's all I can do. No holding back. Will. Again, I kind of want to separate. I probably shouldn't have done this because it probably has some kind of like arcing ability. God, what could one of us hit? <laughs> uh, I got it. Add. Oh, stupid ads. Pounce. <gasps> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. All right. It's cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse than it was. It pounced on me, missed it. The pounce didn't work, and then it missed an attack on Shadowheart. It did land an attack on Shadowheart for like 13 damage, but that that could have been a lot worse. She is also bleeding though. What now? Um, it also still has most of its health. We need to remember that. Uh, uh oh. I almost want to do Vicious Mockery, not uh, Dissonant Whispers, but it only has a 55% chance of working. <laughs> hmm. What do I want to do with you? Unfortunately, I can't leave the area or else attack of, dis attack of opportunity. Hmm. Wait, where's it, where's the orb? That's supposed to put an orb on him. Why didn't the Why didn't the that's the only reason why I did the attack. They cause a radiant shockwave. Why didn't it work? I hit him. It worked the first time. Is it once per fight? It doesn't say once. Oh, there it is. Oh, the, the orb effect, you just can't... Oh, I would have done something different then. I thought the orb attack, like, didn't move. I thought it was still up there. Okay, well, one damage for me. Time to push my luck again. I almost want to go for Vicious Mockery again, just so it misses. Like, I, doing damage is cool, but also I don't want anyone to, to die. Okay. Wow, Kinnison has hit three Vicious Mockeries. At 55% each time. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> it's just the rest of my team is kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, hmm. I do not want to do Reckless. I could do Searing Smite for some big damage. Could... I could do Lacerate. It only takes a short rest to come back. See, I kind of this is what I wasted. I've been making sure to use Will's spells before I short rest for health because his come back and short rest. But there's also other stuff I could do on short rest, like get Lacerate back. I did not use Lacerate or Cleave. I'll use Lacerate now and probably miss. I missed. Screw it. I got a crit. Well, that was worth re-rolling. Yes, he has advantage on me next turn, but I think that was worth the crit. 
oh yeah, this does like this like does nothing for me. <laughs> so no holding back. All right, Will, it's time to do something. Um. Just go for Eldritch Blast. <laughs> All right. Good, good job. Oh, awesome miss. I don't know why he didn't go for Karlak since Karlak had disadvantage. I don't know why he did that, but their intelligence is like seven. So would it be funny if that's how they program the game? When a creature has in like low intelligence, sometimes they just don't attack the right person. <laughs> See, now that it's lower health, instead of going for Vicious Mockery, I'm going to go for two crossbow attacks. Yep. Yep. What's this? Good job, me. If this connects, you're probably this. This guy's probably dead. One health. One. The funny thing is, it's already dead. It's it's lacerated. It's bleeding. It'll die from the bleed damage next turn. So. No holding back. But if Will gets the kill, he gets some temp hit points that he, that should carry over to the next fight. Sixty percent. 50. Will, I'm trying to give you temporary hit points. I'm trying. Is there any reason for Shadowheart to do anything? I don't, I, there's really nothing I'd benefit from. No, I was thinking like what could carry over to the next fight, something I could do for free right now. There's nothing. I really, really start, need, I need to start using these things. Like invoke duplicity. Attract your enemies with an illusion. Within three meters of the illusion, attack rolls and advantage have advantage for you and your allies. I never use this. And even worse, you get these back on a short rest. I have short rested like 20 times in this game so far, and I've used this not once. I have got to remember when I know I'm going to short rest after a fight, to like get Will's spells back and get some health back, I need to use these because they're basically free at that point. Smack him. Well, he's still dead. Unless the bleed wears off this turn and doesn't count. I am going to be very unhappy if the bleed stops before he takes damage and this thing lives for one more turn and hits me with something. I missed three attacks. I'm going to be very... Okay, good. <laughs> it's gonna be, I'm about to be a very unhappy person. <laughs> All right. Let's move. Still breathing. Shadowheart took a bit of a bump on the head. Let's give her a potion. Let's give her another potion. That's better. Okay. Still alive. So that's progress. So let me do what I was gonna do before and touch this thing. Light on my feet. Take a load off, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. While the flowers in your inventory, it has the effect. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually kind of cool, but also annoying. Get prop, please. Oh, what if you could, like, strategically do use this? Like, if you knew a fight was coming, you could put this somewhere against someone who has, like, uh, magic attacks. But considering three of my party members are spellcasters, let's, uh, not. This game hates me. <laughs> At least this one wasn't super high up. Why am I at disadvantage? Oh, okay. It didn't look like it was too far away. Uh, let's move up a little bit and do Vicious Mockery. That is four Vicious Mockeries in a row. Nice. Back up. 
Don't back up too far. I might run into another one. <laughs> My faith will protect me. Shadow heart. Go ahead and move up. Here. No, not up there. Have to keep going. <sighs> I swear, radiant the rate that sacred flame has missed more than it's hit for my entire playthrough, and normally it's above 50%. I've got some bad rolls on that. Where do I go from here? I got this. All right, Carlac. Go ahead and move up. Use your heavy crossbow to maybe bane him, which would be very helpful right now. Or I will just miss completely this is my time. and not even have the chance to bane. Finding my way. I don't think I'm in range. Ooh, I'm he's barely in range. Nice hit. Oh man, if I only had the pushback. I actually thought about re uh, respecking Will. See, remember when I talked about how Will has that version of mage armor? I think he, ha he has it on right now. Yeah, he has a ver he It's called mage armor here, but it's like a different version of it. I chose that as one of his two things when he leveled up. If he has if he has clothing on or robes, he gets plus three armor class. But if he had medium, if he had uh, light armor on, he only get like plus one or two. This is better. However, I could respec him, slap light armor on him. Yes, I would lose probably two AC, but my Aldrich Blast would gain knockback because that was the other thing I was going to give him instead. If this had knockback, this thing would be dead. It would have pushed him right off the cliff. So I, I've been, I've been meaning to respec Will. I would lose two AC probably, but I would gain the ability to knock back, which I think is worth it. Plus, I, I made Will a like weird like mid range combo class where he has like bind weapon and can do like decent melee damage, but I never use him that way. So losing the AC actually won't affect me that much because I usually keep him back anyway. All right, what's he going to do? I'll not pounce again. Ow, ow, ow. The vicious mockery caused the pounce to miss, but Carla got hit twice. I am not going to be able to kill it this turn. Unless all four of my characters connect and do good damage. I cannot kill it this turn. Let me see what everyone else does. If I can get him down to the point where I think two crossbow shots can kill it, I'll try. If not, all vicious mockery. Talk to me. Unfortunately, Shadow Heart doesn't really do that much damage. Um... Her best thing is this, but I can't I can't get out of here without getting hit. I'm going to go for this for the debuff. Good. He has minus one on attack rolls, which could mean the difference between a miss or hit. Mm. Could do that. Put him up. Carlac. Actually, let's see what Will does. It might it might depend on what Will does, because if Will can hit him for good damage, I might go Carlax Reckless Attack, and then I might shoot my crossbows. It's I don't I just don't think it's going to be enough. That's fifty damage. I'll do like fifteen maybe. Carlax can do like fifteen. <laughs> Unless I get like max damage with this, I have to bank on it getting one more turn. Mm, 12 was close. I could go for the Flourish for extra damage. 36. My turn. Karlac can do 9 to 22. Fifteen, fifteen. 15. I just don't think it's enough. I'm probably going to, uh, he's probably going to have like 20 HP left and my character can't do 20 easily. 
I think I'm going to have to just assume he gets an extra turn this turn. Unless I go for the, the Searing Smite. Could do the Searing Smite. It's also a bonus action, so I actually could do that afterwards. You know what? I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to go for the kill. 18 HP left. Oh, it's a bonus action, but also... Wait, hold on. Oh, it uses both. That's what that means. I don't think I've ever seen something that does that. It uses both action and bonus action. Oh, that meant it could be either. Oops. I'm going to have to go for Palmer Strike and hope for, like, extra damage here. Okay. That was extra four damage. Good. Uh, Shadow Heart can do nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I, you know, I could have been trying poisons. Probably could have been a good idea. Except it's a con, it's a con saving throw, and this thing's con is like, yeah, it's decently high. Now this is my happy place. Hey, Will could do flourish as well for an extra one to four damage. I might have to do that. All that matters. Uh, man, I hate having to, like, hulk both of these hit. Not only did one of them miss, both of them missed. <laughs> After all that. And I think Carlex's probably dead. On a multi-hit, she's dead. Good job, Kennison. When it, when it counted, when, it, when everything was on the line, you choked horribly. That's the that's the bard that I know. This is gonna feel good. No, it's not. Battle favors the fearless. I mean, he does have a couple debuffs on him. Not vicious mockery, but yeah, I could do hex. That's not gonna really do anything for me though. Yep, yep. There's the attack that shouldn't have been a thing if Kennison had just connected with his attacks. I'm actually going to use Healing Word. Kennison still has three spells left. I'm going to use Healing Word on Karlak. That was like minimum heal. Yep, I got the minimum for it. Awesome. Minimum heal. Fifty. Sixty-five. Sixteen. Battle I was going to give the kill to Kennison to, like, you know, get that double miss out of his brain, but I'm actually going to get the kill with Will because I get temporary hit points for it. Or I'll miss and every, every time. It's like every time I remember to do something smart, that just doesn't work. Smell blood. Please tell me you're not going to live this turn. <laughs> just come on. There you go. At least things have stayed interesting. I'd love to, thanks. Kind of took a big hit I didn't have to take before. That's fine. Well, I should do one more. I don't want to use too many potions, but I am trying not to do long rests. What to do? I could use one though. No traps, please. I hear somebody. Let's un let's get let's go get that. I know you're... Th oh, it's that one. Okay. Another one? Wait, what is that? There's two of them. What are you? Philro the Forgotten. Who are you? What, what are you? What are you doing up here? <laughs> Why do you want to kill me? 
I might have to take a long rest after this fight because I'm I'm just low on everything. I might start expending spells, knowing I'm going to take a long rest after this. What is happening over here? <sighs> this sucks. It's going to pounce on me again. What if what you know what I could do? You know this, what the smart thing to do here would be? Run. Run. Get out of range of its pounce. In fact, get some high ground. Need to act fast. Just, just, just run. <laughs> just make them come to me. Bye forever, pal. No surrender. This is my time. Why can't Will move? Oh, it's because this guy has to go before Will. Crap. Well, I did not realize that. Hopefully he won't hit Will too hard because I... Mm, I did not realize that. Let's go. Uh oh. Yep. I could go for the... Oh, wait, I can't. Sometimes you can go for like an out of range uh, at, um, archer type attack. You know, you have disadvantage though, but I can't even see him. Nothing I can really do. Ready. Since I'm planning on probably taking a long rest after this fight, because I'm just getting all beat up, I might want to do bless. Unfortunately, Will is over here by himself, but I think I can reach him. I cannot. May have just let Will to die. He can move before the uh, big thing, though. I might save Bless for next turn. Oh, yeah, I could use these things. Yeah, I could use these things in the fight, finally. Not much I can do. I don't have, like, really any buffing move I can use besides Bless, but I can't reach him. Hypnotized. Oh, oh, good. Holy crap! Why does your why do you have so much range? What? The, how can it pounce across the world? Harlek has four HP. Well, since I know I'm gonna be doing a long rest after this to get all my stuff back, we can just use spells. Uh, I could use dissonant whispers. Or I could also heal Carlac so she doesn't die. Um, can I do hold? Can I do hold? Hmm. Hmm. Fifty percent, huh? That might be worth it. Or what I can do is I can just shoot this guy, get closer and shoot him, and hopefully get the hypnotize off of Will. I might have to do that. Light on my feet. Forty-nine percent. Or do I go for dissonant whispers, which is fifty? Well, he saved, but he took half, and it knocked him out of concentration. I'd say that was worth it. And as a bonus action, I can take a little shot at uh, at somebody. At, uh, at you. Nice. Fuck yes. Carlac, you're going to die probably. Um, since I'm taking a long rest after this, I think it's time for some uh, some searing smite. I wanted to use uh, rage, but I need both my action and bonus action to use this. Go for it. I missed. Go for it again. Come on, I missed twice. I did the big one every long rest attack and I missed twice. Ugh. How about I push you? Nope. Let's end this. Since I mean I can use I can use whatever spells I want here. 
I could go for aid. But with only two of us here, not really worth it. Uh, that's right, I was going to bless. I will bless both of us since we're back here with this guy. Unfortunately, it's kind of a waste because I can't reach anybody else. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I... On the move. Let's use the brain here. Ah, brain work good. Oh, you have mirror image. I see. Okay. I kind of want to focus on the big guy first. Like you, you have like these weird ability. Are you a monk? Are you a monk? Uh, level five, Loft Sworn Drow. AC of twenty. It's because of the. It's because of the mirror image. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, I think I want to focus on this guy first. Um, let's get let's get some high ground. Again, I can use my spells since I'm going for a long rest. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk one long rest. I hope, hopefully, if I take a long rest on here, I don't go back up to the surface and everyone's just dead. What, like, what missions do I have? Like, what, 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 is anything in here seem like an obvious, if I rest once, they're just, they're just, like, it's done. Um. Like, none of them really scream, like, isn't like the burning down building. Or the people being attacked by the gnolls. I think I should be fine. To, I haven't long, I've only long rested like three or four times total. And I think someone said like, eh, as long as you do like less than 10 in the first act, you probably won't miss out on anything super important. So I could do hex because I could recast it. The thing is with Hex, I I just don't understand how to use Hex with the ability disadvantage. Like, I don't know what it's good for. I, I I read it as like, well, if I what if I use it as the wisdom version? That way my bard stuff will hit more, more often. But it doesn't seem to do that. I'm not sure exactly what it does. I do like the extra necrotic damage, though. And the ability to recast it as a bonus action. That's good. That's good. See, I could test it right here. Stand in my way. Never mind. I've already gone. <laughs> Forever dauntless. Yeah, I'll do Hex. And I'll do... Again, I don't think it really matters. Well, my Bard attacks had a 55% chance of working. So if I use the Wisdom version and it's still 55, it doesn't work that way. Hex is also nice because it's a bonus action cast, and it doesn't miss. Which means I can take advantage of it immediately by doing this. Or I will miss the 80% shot and not take advantage of the Hex. I can do that too. Good job, Karlak. Oh, You're still bleeding. <laughs> um, Karlak's bleed is now done. So healing her really wouldn't be that helpful because she's going to die like in one hit anyway. It's better to save the heal to get her off the ground to make her an extra target than it is to heal her now and she just dies from one hit. Now let's see what my chance of hitting this is. Yeah, it didn't work. If the Hexed Wisdom doesn't lower the bar for hitting this, what does it do then? Is it abilities they use? Hmm. I don't know. It also has disadvantage on wisdom checks. Not saving throws. So I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh you're still over here doing things. Um let's get let's get some high ground. What path lies before me? Whoop. And don't neglect my spells since I am getting them back after this fight. Kind of want to save the heal in case I need it. You can't use hold on this thing. Kind of want to save the hold for the guy, honestly, and try to go for it. So in that case, I, over here, I will just go for uh, ranged attack. 
Nice. Down to 52. That's still a lot. Carlac is almost dead. Oh, that's right. Um, I didn't know if it worked for this one. For smite abilities on the Paladin, at least, if you miss them, they don't count as using them. So you don't lose it. Unlike a spell where if you miss, it's just gone. That's good. It's also a concentration thing, too, that I did not know. I could rage, but I still want to go for the big attack. I missed again, and then... Okay, got it that time. Okay. Good. Can't give up. Not now. All right, the, the, this guy's going to come up behind us. I, I would like to move, as long as it's not out of range of the attack. Moving. There we go. And it's, again, we're going for a long rest, so I could go for whatever I want. kind of want to try this thing out. Except it explodes, and the explosion probably hits everybody, and means to probably kill Karlek, so let's not do that. I can make it rain. No, all I can do for spells is hold person, aid. I'd like to do aid. Unfortunately, I can't hit everybody. Unless I move here. See, aid is cool because it heals everyone five hit points, which only two of us need. But it also gives five temporary hit points. But I believe since it's a healing spell, they get three points on top of it. Oh, they already have three, so... Maybe not the best thing to go for. That's an action. I'll go for aid. It barely hits all four of us, so. Curious. Why didn't we get any tip hit points out of that? Oh, it's not temporary hit points. It increases their maximum hit points by five. Interesting. I read that weird. Okay. Although it was a healing spell, so why didn't we get, why didn't Carlite get temp hit points? Odd. Maybe I'll unequip that spell. <laughs> I assumed it also gave us temp hit points, but it didn't give her any, so maybe it doesn't work with the item. When the healer casts a target, heals a target, it gains an additional three temporary hit points. Yeah. I guess it doesn't work on aid. It says target. Technically, I targeted myself. It's like a heal, it's like an AoE thing. I guess it's the like the, the with strict interpretation of the text. I guess it wouldn't work. Well, Carlac went sleepies. <laughs> Um, sleep only sleep works by by total hit points. It only goes like twenty four hit points. I think she only had eight, but that means he could he couldn't use on anybody else. That sucks because Carlag was a heavy hitter. How do you cure sleep? Besides hitting them, and I probably kill them. I'm guessing Blood comes in. healing word does no. Oh, I wait. What? Well, I, I can see later. Um, healing word. I don't think it heals sleep. It did heal bleed, and it doesn't say it heals that. So maybe it heals sleep. I could try it. Maybe. Battle favors the fearless. You have twenty-seven hit points left. Please just hit this. Will has missed so many eldritch blasts so far this stream. Please just hit this. What is happening? I have missed a 90% and two 80% and like a 70%. Hex has done nothing for me so far because I haven't been able to hit him. Dash, where are you going? No. Ugh. Well, Will is prone. Oh no, that's Shadowheart. Shadow, no, that's, no, that's Will. I could go help him. Oh, can you take off sleep by just going up and clicking on somebody? 
You can. That's actually kind of cool. It's an action, though. It's an action, and Carlac can't even reach anybody. Well, maybe him. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Wake up. I will give it. And, oh, this is such a bad place for my bard to be. The worst place for my bard to be is in, is in the face of somebody. I do have Dissonant Whispers left. Could I go for my very first, like, melee attack? <laughs> I never melee. Can this be the one time I get to melee? Hmm. You know what? Just because I'm in position for it. Melee. Yeah, Kennison got to hit something. Now, I could bonus action offhand range, but he's so close, it won't work. But you, same thing. You know what? Go for it. I felt I felt lucky. I felt lucky about that. That's why I went for it. Carlac, unfortunately, can reach. That's good. Since my Searing Smite is now done, I might go for Rage. Yeah, let's go for Raging. Which might hurt Shadowheart if I get the wrong thing. Until the end of Rage, it deals an additional 1 6 force damage against. Okay, hold on. What does it say? I missed it. What do you have on right now? Oh, wait. What what special thing did she get out of rage? She has the uh, the wild magic rage. She got something out of it. It went by so fast I couldn't tell what it was. And I can't examine myself. There it is. Okay. Uh, a lot of things. I don't see it. Whatever the bonus is that gave that the wild magic gave, I don't know what it is. It went by it went by too fast, and I don't know how to see it. Oh yeah, the log. Wild magic weapon infusion. Uh, your weapon does an additional one to six force damage. That's why I couldn't see it. It's like the one thing you get that doesn't have like a thing down here. Well, good. Well, well. Go fight. Look what we have here. Awesome. <laughs> and now, that was weird. It showed. It showed me I could jump for a second, then it went away. <laughs> All right. Ow. <laughs> Uh, Karlek has two HP. Karlek is also on fire. Oh, no, that's normal. <laughs> it was like when I saw her on fire. Oh, that's the, that's just Karlek rage. That's what that is. I thought maybe that was like a burn effect that would kill me next turn. All right. All that's left is this guy. And unfortunately, with his little like thing here, he's really hard to hit. Except. Oh, never mind. Will lost concentration which means I can't cast Hex for free on him. But that does mean I can cast something like Shatter. Or Scorching Ray. Um, I'm thinking Scorching Ray. Now you can hit multiple targets or just use all three of them on the same person. That's what I'm doing. Got two of them. Got two of them. Got rid of one of his images. Kennison. Hold. Yes. <laughs> Hold person is so good. It's such a dumb. Now, I don't remember. 
do they get to roll a saving throw on every single hit? I think there's a reason why hold is considered to be so good. I think it's like an initial saving throw, and if you fail, you're just stuck. I could be wrong, though. I'm, I, they might have a chance to get out every time they get hit. Or every turn. I don't know. Let's uh let's do a read let's do a read up on it. Hold a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, or act, or react. Attacks within three meters are always critical hits. Um Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't tell me, unfortunately. This won't be a guaranteed crit, because I'm not within three meters, but it's still a free hit. Yeah, I have advantage because he can't move. Oh, that killed him. <laughs> that killed him. I, need your help. I didn't realize how low on health he was. I would have just killed him. I mean, I was planning to do a long rest after this, because I am I am out of a lot of stuff. I have one spell left on you. I'm ready. Shadow Heart is done. Besides this thing, well, uh, well, well. Will is done. No one's a lot of my short rest stuff is also down. I'm again. I'm always, I'm always paranoid about taking long rests with the whole timer thing. I could carry on. I could probably do one more fight. I have one spell. <laughs> I could probably do one more fight. Let's just let's just take a short rest. We're camping in the Underdark, which is perfect for me since there's no light. Should mind my step. Anyone have anything to talk about? Time for a chat. Can't believe that devil just took us into the hells with a snap of his fingers. If I see him again, I'll wring his neck. Oh, yeah, the Raphael guy. Yeah. He seemed to have a solution for our tadpoles. We may not want to reject his help outright. I'll enjoy watching that. How, oh, that's actually, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll kind of go a neutral route, like away from the possibility of making her angry with us. You could tell it was the hells. My engine stopped fuming for one. But even without that, I could just feel it. Raphael was his name, right? He's trying to lure us into a game he knows we can't win. I'm not playing. Glad you're not either. I mean, I don't want to, but... I kind of want to have an open mind when it comes to this kind of stuff. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. I see. Hmm. Kithrak? What does that mean? Githyanki knights. The riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. Okay, so... I will earn my Queen's favor. And I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. All right, give Yankee knight. Uh, why were these knights chasing the Mind Flare ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the Hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. So it was weird for those knights to go all the way to the Hells. So maybe there was a reason why they were willing to go that far. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. 
What do you make of him? Uh, well, he obviously wants something out of it. Help us help. Honestly, I'm not sure. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. No. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing the read thoughts thing. Uh, probably the area. Since we're underground, we're using a lot of, like, torchlight. Which is, well, probably more red. Not, I, I'm not sure. It, I mean, it, it could go, you could go either way. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Eh, we'll probably end up killing him <laughs> at some point. If Raphael can truly offer help, maybe we should consider it. I'm still unsure he could be a help to us or not. Perhaps we shouldn't trust him. Oh, we could ask what she thinks. Well, yeah. I'm kind of in the middle. What do you think? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Oh, now it's going to force me to pick. I, I'm, I'm unsure. I think I think the way that, um, like I said before, Shadowheart is kind of like thinking the way that my my character's thinking. Like that one time where I did like a a, a deception where I think Carlac and Will both didn't like it, but Shadowheart did. Unsure. You know, failing to make a decision <laughs> is the same as making a decision. Except you decide blindly. Hmm. Okay, well now now it's down to like we yeah. I didn't want to say like let's help it. Let's get no. This is do not trust him. This is maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's all I'm saying. Consider it. I'm not saying we do it. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps a devil has our best interests. Okay, fine. Nothing in return. I said we should consider ourselves at his feet, be they cloven or otherwise. Or perhaps we shouldn't. I said maybe. <laughs> uh <laughs> I don't know what to say. I I'll, you know what, yeah, I'll admit it. I don't know what to do. I I'm fine with that. Clearly. And you know what? I think that's just what the devil intended. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, why are you so well-versed in mental and emotional torment? Hmm. Yeah, or, or we ask, who, uh, who are Shar's enemies? There are many, but they all renounce their gods when they are taught fear. Watch out for that devil. Okay. Uh, who else is up <laughs> Man, Asterian has only been in the party once. You know, I've been thinking, and I think there's something I should tell you. Nothing big or terrible, just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> it's just that I happen to be a... Uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. <laughs> yeah, I already knew that. <laughs> just, like, even if I didn't, like, I know a little bit about the game already. I tried to avoid spoilers, but the fact that he's a vampire is, I mean, it's fairly obvious. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just like, even if you, yeah, I know, you, you look like one. I mean, I mean, yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> glad we got that out the way. So... Was there anything else? 
Where is let's talk to let's talk to Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet him. So weird. A uh, Kennison is like Kennison takes pride in everything he does because he doesn't succeed very often. He has that hero pose, like, yes, I successfully pet the dog. I did it. Where is Oh, there's Will. Oh, there's Gail. Okay. Gail, do you want to eat something again? Could you please stop? Hi, Julie. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach. But his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the devil? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. I can see that. Hmm. I'm not going to poke. I'm not going to poke this too much. Like, yeah, he made a deal with the devil. We don't know why, but he would be the one to know that it's not a good idea. I mean, yeah, as much as I've been saying, like, we have to at least consider it. I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe as a last resort. That's not an option. If the option was like, I don't plan on making a deal with him unless it's a last resort. But yeah, I really, I do, I don't plan on making a deal with him. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. So the trick is convincing the devil that something you really don't like is something you really like. Oh, no. Don't make me only eat pizza the rest of my life. I hate pizza. Oh, no. This is the worst thing ever. I wonder if that's even possible like to like trick now, I kind of want to respec Will. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Stop. Stop eating all my stuff. I did have a couple things that were pretty cheap that I could give him. There's still my bard hat. It literally doesn't do anything for me anymore. I like it just because it's my hat. Uh, I kind of want these when I go back and fight the spider. These are on me. This is not that great, but it's actually worth like a little bit. This thing's not very good. Grants resistance to slashing, but vulnerability to bludgeoning. If I wanted to min max, I guess I could wait for a fight where I'm like, oh, this could work, but it's also not worth a lot. The same thing with this helmet. This helmet's only good for paladins, and I don't have a paladin, so. Uh, what else do I have that's, like, cheap? Um. What's that noise? <laughs> it's, uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have dancing lights on that. Yeah, I'll give him I'll give him this. 
Yeah, just one. Here you go. Thank you. Um, nom 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 nom. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Oh. Go on. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me, and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't believe a word of what you're saying. Do we believe it, though? I, I, I mean, wouldn't it be like, wouldn't it be something if all of this was just a deception? Somehow, like he was doing the effect of eating the magic, but he was just taking the artifact to use for himself. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, that was kind of arrogant. I am, after all, the villain of the tale. We enjoyed each other's company, body, mind and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Hmm. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? What did, what did you do? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm a bard. I enjoy a good tell. T tale, tell, tale. Yes, tell me Very more. well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to be that. I think this is, yeah, yeah. I, I do need to be a little more snarky. 
than I'm being because I'm playing Bard. I guess we will get flowers and chocolates all together then. No, well, like magical chocolates. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Hmm. That, yeah, well, I think we know this. How are you still alive? He's been eating artifacts. That's how he's alive. I'm still going to say it because I really don't want to say the other stuff or do the other stuff. So. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. <laughs> Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Mm hmm. I mean, just for our own self-interest. Like, is there nothing we can do? How about we, like, leave you in the middle of nowhere, and then we come back later to see how you're doing? And if you happen to explode, well... We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Well, I haven't really been using you a lot, Gail, but I've been meaning to change that. I've been thinking about benching Will for a while for Gail. My other party members are pretty much set. I mean, there's me. I need either Carlac or Lazel. I like Carlac better. Or I also need Kedart. So the only spot I can really substitute anybody is that last spot, Will or Gail. Even if I respect Will to be more long range, he's probably still better up close than Gale ever will be. I am definitely only long range. So if I have Gale in the party, it'd be two long range characters and two close range. I mean, Shadowheart doesn't really do damage, but she has the highest AC in the party. So she can kind of be like up front a little bit. I could always respect her. I mentioned I would not respect the main characters in your party and change their class. Like, you can respect your party members into whatever you want. However, there's one thing I'm kind of on the fence about. As a cleric, clerics choose their subclass at level one. I think. Pretty sure it's level one. Well, since she starts at level one, I can't choose that for her. But she has the trickster one, which I'll be honest, I don't like. There are other better options. 
I'm thinking about respecting her just to change her subclass. I think that's fair. I want it, I want them to remain their set classes for my first playthrough. But as you've seen, I don't use the trickery stuff. That's not my style. Even though it does fit her personality. So that's what that's the reason why I've been neglecting to change it. It, it fits her personality. That's why she has it. But all the other characters that choose their specialization past level one, I've gotten to choose. Whether it fits their personality or not. So I'm thinking about it. I could do like the um the one that's like focused more on healing. I could do the 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 war one, whatever it's called. I believe that one gives you heavy armor, which would be awesome. You, basically she kind of becomes a paladin without the damage. She can have heavy armor and a shield. Um she also has better chance to like save for concentration spells. I might do that one. It's one or the other. I either make her a frontline person with a sword with a heavy armor and shield, or I make her the opposite. I make her squishier, but better at healing. Thing is, though, I don't know how she's better at healing. So I'm gonna read. Also, I just noticed. I didn't even notice that. Oh no, he went away. <laughs> I looked down at the bottom corner and just saw Scratch looking at us. And then he left. Um, yeah, we'll stick together just because you're a powerful wizard. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me, I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Hmm. Let us venture forth. Yes, uh, rally ho and such. Um, I think I might respect Shadow Heart. And probably just change. Because, okay. I mean, I'm trying to, like, figure out the boundaries of me not wanting to respect the party members. I want to respect them for stuff like subclass and maybe even stat distribution. But not their class. But even their stat distribution could also be part of who they are. And I'm kind of, like, hesitant to change that. Even if it's for the better. Like, for instance, Karlak has 18 strength, 15 con. Like, she had three, uh, she has three, like, uneven stats. So I could only get two of them to be even. Or, like, three odd stats. Also, she's a barbarian. She's supposed to be able to use not armor and still be effective. But because her dex was like at 13 and her con was at 15, it, I didn't really get the bonuses required. I think I might actually keep her as a wild magic rage because it's funny. I like I like how. Like, I enjoy the randomness of Carlax wild magic. It's fun. Also, why is my approval so low? It's not even in the middle. It's like a little down. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, the tricky thing, like, that's not my style. That That's like the one cleric thing I wouldn't pick, but it does fit her personality. But like I said, if I, I didn't have to respec Will, because warlocks don't get their subclass until like level three, I could choose which one I gave him. So in that sense, I might be willing to respec her just for that. Stat wise, I kind of like the stats the way, the way they are. I'd probably lower her strength to 12 which might boost something a little bit more. Maybe get charisma to 10 just for the sake of like saving throws. Yeah, I might do that. And will I'm thinking about respecting to make more long range. Like I gave him the fiend, which gave him that ability to like bind a weapon to him. I never melee with him. I always just sit back and cast because Eldritch Blast is too good not to use. 
So I actually might respect him too. I kind of want to put, but I kind of want to put Gale in the party. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna sit Will for now for Gale, even though I will definitely miss the short rest spells getting back thing. Oh man, <laughs> it's like being a bard has made it to like if I wasn't a bard, if I was playing like paladin, I could do myself, Shadowheart, Gale, and Will. That's kind of my go-to party right now if I was a paladin. Tank, healer, and I probably spec her to be full heal. And then I probably have Will maybe try his mid-range build, because I would be the only melee character if, I, if that wasn't the case. And then Gale. Eh. Or he could do like tank, Carlac for damage, Shadow Heart for healing, and then you still have that one slot. Although if I was a paladin, I'd probably want to use a Sterion for his utility. You need lockpick. That'd be a weird, that'd be a weird team. All right, just, just, just because we haven't used them in a while too. Where's, where's Will? Will, where did I leave you? I already forgot where you were. Oh, you're Shadowheart. I can barely see you from here, but you're Shadowheart. Come on, I just talked to him too. Where is he? <laughs> Oh, that's well. From a distance, I thought that was Carlac because he was all red. Like Jeebus said, this area is kind of red. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. As much as I enjoy your Eldritch Blast from a distance, especially if I respect you for pushback. And just when things were warming up. I want to have Gale in the party for a bit. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> hmm. You have a strange definition of flattery. Dining with a devil left a bad taste in my mouth. Devils really approach the mortals without some nefarious intent. We'd be wise to avoid him. I mean, yeah. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly and in that knowledge lies our opportunity hmm but what is it that devil wants so very badly our souls i suspect that's but his opening offer let me play the devil's advocate the man is too eager do not dismiss his offer out of hand but if there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody it's ambition quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Hmm. What do you think his ambition is? We're gonna meet the devil. Human. Man, I think this is the first time I've ever actually had a human response. Hmm. No. No, we're a bard. We're, we, we have the power of, of words. I'm not gonna, you know, we're kind of like that. Yeah, what is his ambition? I'm the foggiest. But... Based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it along with our tadpoles. So, we say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. I'm not entirely sure if I want to take, if I want to take Gail's advice for this, when, look at the situation he's in. <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. I'm listening. But I will have you join the party so you can zap things. Oh, even more stuff about him. Oh. Was wondering about that mighty lord you told about in the story. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Cassus. Cassus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. 
With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. Hmm. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So that reminds me of something else that happened in a game I've played before. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be vague on that, but... Uh, all magic was gone? Hmm. Yeah. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. And try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Oh. Yeah, so that guy was able to use all that magic. Gale couldn't even use a fraction of it. Yeah, if you're about to explode, uh, what are you going to do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Hmm. With pleasure. Lead on. Welcome back to the team, Gale. I haven't leveled you up in a while. Yay, Gale's here. Oh, I have the magic touch. I don't think I really bought anything for Will. Like, I know I just bought a few things for certain people. I think I gave him, like, one thing. That's okay. Unfortunately, that means Gale is kind of lacking in equipment. <laughs> Notice how he only has his starting simple robe. Yeah, he has nothing. He has the starting quarterstaff. He has his light crossbow. Hmm. <laughs> um. You have my attention. Can you use... There's no way you can use this, right? No. Get, get back over here. Just so Gale... See, Gale doesn't have Eldritch Blast. So he, does, he doesn't have the go-to. So I'm actually going to give him the Light Crossbow plus one. Since so Shadow Heart can do, like, okay melee damage. And also has access to a few cantrips he can use. I mean, Gale does too. We'll see. If I find that Gale's cantrips are a little more effective, I'll switch it back. Man, we gotta go shopping for him. He's got nothing. I mean, I haven't really been on the lookout for wizard stuff. I do have this thing. The spell sparker. Uh, when the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. I haven't, I haven't really messed with the lightning charge thing. I believe that she also... Yeah. Like, there's a build you can do with this, I'm sure. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain three lightning charges. Lightning course is three. You have a what, plus one to attack rolls and deal an additional one lightning damage. So I believe the plus one to attack roll only counts melee or maybe also a bow. Because when you do a, when you do an attack roll for... I don't know. Would that count spells? I mean... 
Some spells require an attack roll. Some spells require a save. Maybe just the ones that have attack rolls would work. Also, you deal an additional lightning damage. I'm assuming that all like maybe if like if you did a spell, let's say a fire spell that required an attack roll, would you do one lightning damage on top of it? <laughs> mm. When you gain five charges, they're consumed, and you deal an additional one to eight lightning damage. It doesn't sound that great, honestly. I will give him this though, just because I might as well. It's it it looks cooler on him. It does something. And since I never use this for Karlak, I'm going to give this to him as well, just so we can stack the lightning stuff. It says dash or similar action. I'm wondering if Misty Step will activate it. It might. Do I have anything else I could give to him? This is specific to healing. This is just specific. This is weapon attack. Oh, yes. Oops, I still have that on. Oops. I've had a negative one to charisma this whole time. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, magic. Magic. No, no. I just really haven't been on the lookout for anything Gale can use. Well, that's fine. I mean, he's a wizard. He he can he can do his best work without anything on, really. All right, let's do his level up. All right. He has gained a cantrip. What cantrip should I give him? Uh, I wish there was a way to see what he had already because I don't remember what he has. Is there a way to, like, see what he already has? I mean, I could just back out. Uh, he already has. Wait, a look. He has Mage Hand. Which is a permanent. Hmm. It says permanent, but also says short rest. Oh, but the, the, the one that I have is timed. I guess his is permanent until it dies. Short rest. He has Firebolt, and he has Ray of Frost, which is good for reducing movement on people. Okay. I was actually thinking about respecting him, too. I might want to just do that now. It's because the, the, the subclass that I chose was Conjuration, which gave him Create Water, which is a good spell. The reason why I haven't been using it is because I had no one to really combine it with. Gale is the person I need to combine it. So create water might actually be useful now. Now he only gets he gets one free one per short rest too. I kind of want to keep it, but the other one I wanted to do instead is the one that gives him the ability to not hit teammates with spells. That's very nifty. I will leave this for now, but if I if I start seeing that the no hit your teammates thing would be more useful, I'll I'll go ahead and respec him. Air is ripe with magic. And we're back here again. Uh, I did get one more level two spell. That's nice. So we have Acid Splash. Throw a bubble of acid that damages creatures it hits. One to six, a D6 has not seemed that good. But maybe it has like an AoE to it. This is really only great against um, undead, I believe. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. Undead targets receive disadvantage. Not being able to heal is nice. It's actually kind of nice. Like if, if I have a fight where someone's healing a lot, I could Shepherd. use this. Remember to stay hydrated. Poison spray. Now this is a saving throw one. Yeah, like... Well, so is this one, I guess. Poison spray. It's a D12. Shocking grasp. The target cannot use reactions. The spell has advantage on creatures with metal armor. It's melee range, though, which we're not going to be doing with him. 
I don't like Blade Ward. It takes one turn to cast. It only lasts two turns. It's weird. You have to use like one turn to have it last one turn. Unless you know you're getting hit next turn. Which is honestly better on someone like Will. He doesn't need... <laughs> Gale doesn't need friends. I have friends. Uh, Dancing Light. I did have Dancing Light for free based on a thing that Will had on. I might actually give take that off of Will and put it on Gale. Light. Minor Illusion. Tr Man, these... Okay, all right. So we have basically three options. Really probably only two. Uh, we have Bone Chill, which isn't great, but could be useful against Undead and if someone's healing. Or Poison Spray, just, just for damage. I mean, I could take one of these and just have it. Light lasts until a long rest. I mean, it's it's a utility cantrip, which he doesn't really have. But I, again, I could just give him the dancing lights thing. Um. Also, does somebody else have light through like an item? I think. I'm gonna give him. Honestly, 1 to 8, 1 to 12 is not, there's not that much difference. Plus, I think Bone Shield just has more utility to it. Although, its range is only 3 meters. Whereas, yeah, this is 18, you know. I think this is a good, like, utility one against undead and enemies that heal themselves. We already have two other cantrips that are good for attacking, so. Spells. Oh, there's so many spells. <laughs> well, you know what I'm lacking in spells? AoE spells. My bard doesn't have any. I'm bringing Gale for AoE attacks. That's why I'm bringing him. So I need to get, I need to pick some good AoE attacks. There is shield, which is kind of nice, but ray of sickness. Do I want a little pet? Does Gale want a little pet? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I, okay, I've heard Chromatic Orb is really good. It does 3 to 24 damage just as a level 1. The Reapers and you can, are here. And you can change what it is. Oh, hello, Dreadwolf. Thank you for the read. How was Dragon Age? We're playing a game that's actually kind of similar in terms of, like, setting. Nice and uh, fantasy-based. Right now we're leveling up Gale, our wizard. I'm kind of doing what I'm bad at, and that's having to choose spells. I'm not great at, um, at deciding what spells to teach people. I think I might go with Chromatic Orb. It's just good. Uh, Shatter's also good. Chromatic Orb is um 3 to 24 on a single target, whereas Shatter is 3 to 24 on several targets. So that's not bad. It also possibly creates a surface. Like if you do ice damage, it might create like a, like an icy area they can slip on. It was Dragon ag hmm. I could do both, but I'm betting there's something else good up there that I haven't seen yet. Ray of Enfeeblement's kind of funny. <laughs> Weaken a foe. They deal half damage with weapon attacks using strength. Just old beam. Phantasmal Force is also not terrible. It only does one to six but it's each turn. So that's kind of fun. Hold is good, but we already have hold on two other people. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing Gale for damage, not util, not like buffing, debuffing utility stuff. So flaming sphere is kind of funny. You summon like this big fire 
boulder and it just moves around the battlefield. You control where it moves. Mm. I've heard Cloud of Daggers is also really good. Like this one, this one's considered really good because the AI is dumb and enemies will just run into it. Like if you cast it on an enemy, they'll take damage from it. And I believe at the start of the next turn, they take damage again. This is I know this is considered to be like S tier in this game. Blur. So I want to take. I think I'm going to take Chromatic Orb. Shatter's good, but it requires a level two slot. Cloud of Daggers is obviously does not does less damage than Shatter. But Cloud of Daggers can hit multiple times. It's a spell that just kind of sits there and lasts a while. If you can put it in a good spot, it'll hit multiple times. Where Shatter's good, but it's like a one thing and it's done. Also, if they save the Shatter con save, like the, if they if they roll the appropriate number for the save, they only take half damage from this. Cloud of Daggers has no save. If they go through it, they take the full 4 to 16. So it kind of evens out that way. I think I'm going to take Chromatic Orb and Cloud of Daggers. The fire, the fire boulders is more funny than anything, but it requires having to move around the battlefield. So it has like a limit to how far it can move. I kind of like just having a spell that's like spell. And here are my prepared spells. Let's see what we want to use. We have mage armor. As long as I as long as I'm careful with his positioning, we shouldn't need it. We have fog cloud. Eh. We have ice knife, which is actually pretty nice. So you throw a shard of ice that deals one to ten piercing damage, and it explodes, dealing two to twelve cold damage. And it makes nice service. I like the spell. Grease is funny. I like the grease spell. Not only can you light it on fire with this cantrip. But people just like fall over and it's just funny to me to make like a pile of grease underneath people <laughs> just fall over. Sleep is good, but eh, chromatic orb, we just got it. Magic missiles, just a fun sta like standard D&D &D move. Thunder wave I have on just in case enemies get close to me. But I do have three more spell slots left and I do have three spells right here. Misty Step can be used as a bonus action, and you can just, like, teleport somewhere. I think this is a good just-in-case spell. If someone gets too close to Gale, I can use a level 2 sp uh, spell to get out of there. Does it seem kind of pricey just for a movement ability? Yes. But I won't use it in case it's an emergency. Then we have Cloud of Daggers. And we have Melf's Acid Arrow. Shoot a green arrow that covers the target and the ground with acid. Deal 4 to 16 acid damage immediately and 2 to 8 acid damage at the end of the target's turn. On miss, they take half. Now that I have Cloud of Daggers, I really don't care about this spell. Kind of want to throw in... I could do sleep, but the fact is ice knife and chromatic orb are so good. In fact, do I need ice knife if I have chromatic orb? Like ice knife does an explosion of ice damage and can make an ice like spot. Chromatic orb can do ice damage, but it's on a single target, but also has a chance of making the ice spot on the ground. I kind of like this as an AOE attack, which again, I'm kind of lacking. Having a level one AOE attack is kind of nice. Um, I just don't see myself using this as much since I have this. But this is good for like a single target while this is like an AOE thing. Yeah, I'll go for it. I'm mostly for level one. I'm mostly going to be using Ice Knife or Chromatic Orb. Or Magic Missile if it's a hard to hit enemy. Because this always hits. And this is an emergency. This is good AOE. Okay, yeah, this is fine. And I get my level four feet finally. What do I take? Well, there's the obvious level four feet to take. Ability improvement. 
Why is your con so high? Why does he have 15 con? <laughs> He's a wizard. Interesting. Well, intelligence up by one makes sense. Probably Dex. Dex will get him an extra arm, uh, extra AC, which is good for both up close and long range stuff. Yeah, it gets me an extra AC. It also makes um his if I have to use a crossbow on enemies that like have good magic stuff, maybe it'll be mostly just for the armor class. Although I could also do con. Which gives you plus three to saving throws and affects your ma your hit point maximum. Hmm. I'm thinking about respecting him and changing his subclass anyway. I'm definitely going to lower his con if I do that. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, no. But I feel like unless you're saying you want to eat like a person, <laughs> like when is that going to come up? I guess I should, I should ask, what is what is the item you're talking about? I've got a long road ahead. Hmm. Thinking about respecting Shadowheart just for her subclass. Whether it be the if I have Karlak in the party, like I have a very like I'd have very two very squishy people. If I respect Shadowheart, it'd probably be for the war cleric one that makes her be able to wear heavy armor just so she could take some hits. Because I'm just not using the trickery stuff. I mean... I mean... Well, roll for crazy. Let's see. Nah, that's not crazy. Crazy. <laughs> No one back home will ever believe this. So I could respect Shadowheart for her subclass. I could respect Gale just for his subclass, but I can I can wait on that. Yeah, let's respect Shadowheart. I I've literally not used her trickery stuff once. I know I like I said I wasn't going to respect the, the people as far as classes go. But as far as subclass goes, I I kinda want to. I'd better do the talking. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. You're back home? Yay! Uh, yes. As thou desire. <laughs> the respec. See, okay, here. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep her as a cleric, because that's what she is. Um the cool thing about about uh clerics, they just get their stuff. Like I don't have to choose spells, they just get the spells. And then I choose which ones I can use in combat. Now I actually can change her cantrips. I'm there's no way I'm getting rid of guidance. Um We have Thaumaturgy, which is dumb on her. I kind of want to keep Sacred Flame just because of the thing I have on her right now. Uh, there's Resistance. Meh. Light. Blade Ward. And Produce Flame. Produce Flame would give me... Oh, that's the thing. I think as my... Can I change that? No, you can't. Um, the one thing you, one of the things you can't change in Respec is your race. And because she's a half-elf, she has this as a cantrip. I can't change it. I wish I could, but I can't. As a half-elf, you get, as a high half-elf, you get an extra cantrip. And that's the one that she gets, and I can't change it. At least I'm pretty sure I can't, because it's because it's related to race, and you can't change your race. Since I already have a fire spell, I don't need this. I never use this. I could, I could, like... I could take light. 
if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put her into the war cleric though, I mean this would make her even tankier, but it only lasts for one turn basically. Um, not that, not this. Maybe light. I think I have light from an item, but that's not gonna be Remember consistent. Remember to stay hydrated. Maybe light, just so we can see. <laughs> I, I mean, it's better that it's like I whatever was in that slot before. I can't even tell you what was in that slot before. I think it was resistance. I never use it. Well, that's oh, speaking of that, you reminded me. I always forget to talk about stuff like this, but this is like the one month where I should because September. <laughs> Hi, FM Army Vet. Oh, also, reminds me, um, we're starting the Mass Effect contest tomorrow. We're doing it tomorrow and Saturday. We're doing Pokemon <laughs> DLC on um, Thursday and Friday. The first Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC comes out either Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it's late Tuesday or early Wednesday. Um, if it takes more than two streams to complete it, Saturday will be Pokemon. If not, it'll be Mass Effect. But yeah, let me talk about the thing. Yeah, this, this thing that I only ever make on an anniversary week, which is September, which is good timing. Uh, I'm doing this again. Basically, during the month of September, uh, by the way, gift subs are only on sale from the 26th to the 30th. So if you want to give subs here or anywhere else for sub goals, people are knowing or whatever, wait until the 26th to 30th because they're 25% off. Don't do it before that. You know, save money, good. Uh, also, there's the thing every all month where I, I haven't done this yet. For some reason, it won't let me do it for somebody's stream. But um, what you, if you go into like the sub management, you have the option to sub for like three months or six months and you save money. So if you do what I do, I take the the the, uh, the channels that I that I sub to. Unfortunately, it's only a couple now because just money. But you can. I'm actually planning on getting six months from them at a time. And if you do it on in September, you save like thirty percent, I think. And that also counts towards this. So if anyone decides to subscribe for six months, to be basically you make two of the months free, almost. Then let me know, and I will add it to this. But we have our goals. Um, they're pretty. Most are pretty self-explanatory. Um, for five subs, it's Make a Throne. I've been meaning to make one for a while. I did say I just put a bunch of stupid stuff on it. Like those stupid screaming stick things from the 90s. <laughs> I'll put that on there. Uh, the Renegade Return, the Renegade Hydrate Returns. Well, that's what that is. I used to have a Renegade Hydrate that was um, unsweetened tea. Like unsweetened strong tea. And since I'm off keto, it could be a number of things. We could make We could make a list of what the Renegade Hydrates could be. I want them to be healthy. If I'm going to drink something nasty, it might as well be healthy. Because most things are nasty. Most things that are healthy are nasty anyway. Um, fi at 15, we have a Zelda game challenge. It should say more like goal. I have never streamed a Zelda game. So if we hit 15, I will stream a Zelda game. But it's a mystery. I have a, I have a reveal button I can hit that shows which one it is. Uh, for 20, it's N7 day stream. Most likely, it'll end up being the let's play through all three Mass Effect games as fast as possible. But it might be something different. I I, I, need, I have to decide what, what it'll be. Um, 25 is unlock community channel point goals. I have a list which is growing of, you know, like community channel point goals are basically the ones up top where you can give at least two, you can give up to 2000 channel points a day and it leads towards a goal. That will unlock a few ones I've been wanting to do, plus some repeatables. Like 12 hour Saturday stream. Um, the Renegade smoothie idea is still in there. It could be repeatable when it's done. I have to I have to um, bring a nast like a nasty healthy smoothie to that stream that day. Um 30 is for a Soma Halloween stream. The game Soma. Uh 40 is for a Mass Effect 2 random insane run. I have a randomizer for original Mass Effect 2. And it adds a bunch of randomization options. And some of them are difficulty options. 
like enemies have random abilities or weapons. So that that'll be a that'll be fun. <laughs> Basically, it's like Dark Souls Mass Effect. Just I'll just die a lot. Um, 50 is a redacted. That's that's the every year I try to have like a hidden one. That's the hidden one. Um, 60 is getting over it stream. <sighs> if anyone knows what that game is. Um, 75 is Soulsborne Death Being Run. Basically, we play through a Soulsborne game. And I haven't decided the death amount yet. For a certain amount of deaths, I have to eat a Bean Boozled Jelly Bean. And for another number of deaths, I have to eat one of the spicy Bean Boozled Beans. I don't deal with spicy very well. So that's going to be a lot of deaths. That's like, that's going to be like, I don't know. <laughs> that's a lot of deaths to eat one of those things. Uh, then we have at 100, we have the 24 hour stream decided by polls slash other people. Basically, my idea was to take the 24 hour stream and divide it into slots. Maybe like a, like a five hour slot, four hour slot, three hour, two hour, and then like a bunch of ones or a bunch of twos and ones. And we would decide we would decide based on like. Maybe like some coin, maybe like some dice rolls, some randomization, whatever. And people will get to pick what game goes in that slot for that 24 hour stream. Where the, where the games appear could be random. Like the five hour game might wait. I would probably try to make the longer ones, which would obviously be the more valuable ones in terms of like how long I play a game. I'd probably try to put them in more of a prime time slot, like that meaning not like three in the morning. So like a lot of the ones and twos would be like from like 3 a.m. to like you know, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. Uh, there's also going to be a gift code for Steam given away every five subs. The, 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 the codes aren't great, I'll admit. <laughs> Humble Bundle seems to be doing less, like, expensive and more well-known games lately. That's where my stuff comes from, so. There, there's some okay stuff in there. Also, the top three contributors, just like the last couple years, get their pick of a of a bonus reward. The top person gets to pick from help design an emote, create a personal command to use in chat, or select a game for me to stream. And then the second place person gets to pick the, out of the two that's left, and then the third place person gets the last one. That's usually how I do it. But yeah, I don't talk about this kind of stuff too much, but it is the proper time to do it. So if any, again, if anyone does the six month thing to save money, if you're planning to be sub for six months anyway, it's best to switch over to six months so you save like two months for free. Again, I'm planning to do that in a few in a few streams. And there are the goals. If anyone does the six month thing, let me know. I'll add it. Also, Mimikyugi, you resubbed a couple days ago. So that counts. So that's one towards it. I think I set this up properly. Hold on. I don't think I set it up to where I could hit the button. Come on. And there it is. I only show the sub counter on the week where gift subs are uh, discounted. That's so, so it's not up all the time. Okay. And let me go ahead and take that off. That was my September thing that I'll probably only go over again once it's that week. <laughs> also, the week of of that, I pushed the anniversary one week again. If people want to do gift subs, I want it to be as cheap as possible. I was going to do it the week before, but uh, we're going to be doing XCOM. I have contacted a lot of people about making XCOM characters. I'm still working on making them in the game. We'll be playing through XCOM 2 just for fun with our characters. That should only take probably four days. Uh, on that Friday, we'll be doing a shorter Blitzball stream. I usually do Blitzball streams for that week. Just, just one. And then that Saturday will be a Pokemon Stadium playthrough. I'm not doing a rental randomizer. We are going to be using rental Pokemon. It's going to be like a nice laid back stream where we just play through like the gym leader tower and the cups. The whole, The purpose is to unlock the Mewtwo fight. And then maybe bring it back for round, like round two is what unlocks if you beat Mewtwo. Basically, it makes everything harder. I already did a rental randomizer in Stadium 1, 
we got to Blaine. I couldn't get past Blaine. But I might bring it back for round two. We'll probably be stuck on Brot for eight hours. Yeah. Um, let's take a look here. So these are the subclasses for a cleric, which we haven't had a chance to look at because she already chose it. The game chooses it for her. Probably the worst one for me. We have Life Domain. The Life Domain is an aspect of many good deities, offering spells that protect and restore the mind, body, and soul. For Life Domain, you get Cure Wounds and Bless. This is a better version of one you already know. You will only have access to this one. So basically, it gives you access to a better version of Cure Wounds and Bless. Here's the thing. I don't like Cure Wounds. I kind of don't like it. Because it it's a touch spell. While she, while she can take a hit. I don't know. Like, I've always preferred the other one because it's long range. But since it's free, like, you always have access to it, then, yeah, I'd use it. And Bless... I'm not sure how this is better. This is a better version of Bless, but it looks to be exactly the same. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's better. I guess we'll find out if I choose this. And the subclass feature is Disciple of Life. Your devotion empowers your healing spells. When casting a healing spell, the target regains an additional hit point equal to the two plus the spell's level. So you'll get like on it, uh, at least an extra three health out of it. Good. That's good. Then we have Light Domain. The Light Domain is offered by deities of Justice, Majesty, and Primordial Flame, providing spells that dispel darkness and harm the undead. Light, which I would take off the cantrip thing. Uh, we get Burning Hands, which is a melee range. Actually, is it melee range? Yeah, it's a melee. It's like a melee thing that has an area of effect. And then um, fairy fire, which I've heard is actually pretty decent. All targets within the light turn visible and attack rolls against them have advantage. Sounds good. And the effect shield yourself with divine light. Use your reaction to impose disadvantage on an attacker, possibly causing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So every time they attack, you can use this and they have disadvantage. This is also good. I don't like trickery. Knowledge domain. All you and now with this one you don't get an you don't get a free subclass feature. It's just these two spells. You get command and sleep. That's it. Nature domain. Uh, you embody the vast viridian power of the nature of the natural world. Boo. An avatar of this sub, uh, subtle divinity of fruit, of fruitfall, avian migration, woodland silence, and the landslides roaring fury. Shillelagh. Your staff or club becomes magical. It deals 4 to 11 bludgeoning damage and uses your spellcaster ability for attack roll. If you wanted to make her into like a mixed attacker, this is pretty good. You get speak with animals, which I already have. And you get animal friendship. Eh. You learn a druid cantrip and become proficient in animal handling, nature, or survival. Yeah, but how good are druid cantrips, you know? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, hold on a second. First off. Oh. Oh, that's the druid cantrip. It's You don't get shillelagh. You get whatever you want. Huh. We could do Poison Spray, Produce Flame, Shillelagh, or Thorn Whip. Pulls the creature closer to you. That could be good if you could, like, control the battlefield well. Like, if, like, if, 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 uh, you know, like, one of your melee attackers is standing right next to your, uh, cleric, then, hey. Okay, all right, it's not bad. Your faith has made you the very thunder that quakes the black firm firmament. The lightning courses through the veins of a terrible storm. Thunder wave and fog. With Wrath of the Storm, strike back at an attacking creature, potentially dealing 2 to 16 lightning damage. On a failed saving throw, you deal half of that damage. It's not bad. And 
Probably one of the better ones. War Domain. Fortified by holy zeal, you brandish an arsenal of sacramental savagery to use against you those you deem unrighteous. You get Divine Favor and Shield of Faith. Divine Favor is your weapon deals an additional 1 to 4 radiant damage, making her melee attack actually viable. Maybe. It's concentration, though. If you use Bless, you can't use this. And then Shield of Faith. It raises an attack, it raises someone's armor class by two, but this is a better version of it. I'm, again, I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's by three? Second level gives a perk that makes any lightning thunder damage as max damage. Ooh, that's kind of fun. It's just like with, with, the, with the build of my party, always having access to like bard stuff and then also like a caster of some kind. I feel like life or war is probably the way to go because Carlac can't really take a hit. He has health, but that's about it. Like having a tank, an actual tank would be nice. Now I know that uh, Lazelle is a fighter and is tankier than Carlac. So if I were to use her instead, I'd probably go life domain. Life Domain, I think, is a little too squishy for this. Like, we have an issue when it comes to squishiness, so... I'm thinking Word Domain. Since I don't have a Paladin. When I play through as a Paladin, in my own time for a fun playthrough, when I get further into this, it would make sense to have her be probably Life Domain. Yeah, let's do, let's do War Domain. I don't know when I'll use this. I probably won't. Honestly, it's kind of bad because it takes an antenna, it takes a level one spell and it's concentration. And I would I would definitely use bless as my concentration spell because it's I like it. This is also concentration, isn't it? Yep. I, so basically, both these are useless. I'm not useless. I could use this instead of bless, but bless is good. Like, I don't know if I'd use either of these. I I don't use, I, I already have this. I don't use it. I never said it. Because I think Bless is, like, the best concentration spell I have. I kind of don't want these. I'd mainly be taking it because I know you can use heavy armor with this. Also, when you make an unarmed weapon attack, you can spend a War Priest charge to make an additional attack. This would turn her into a melee attacker. You would want her on the front lines doing stuff, which is fine, but... Hmm. I don't know. I like both of these. I like Bless. I already said I like Bless as a concentration spell, and you get a better version of it. And you get a free Cure Wounds. I don't like Cure Wounds that much, but you get a better version of it and it's always prepared. So it doesn't take up one of those like prepared slots. It's just like a bonus thing to have. And you heal at least an extra three hit points. Hmm. I haven't messed with the minion stuff, the hireling. I don't think I'm going to in this playthrough. I want to use, like, story characters. It is a good way to get, like, a bard or a cleric or something. Or a uh, paladin. I also like light. Being able to miss is great. Both of these sound... Like, this is kind of like a bonus to have. This sounds useful. I can take a different cantrip than light. I kind of like this, too. <laughs> I... War Domain turns her into more of an attacker. Since I'm respecting, I would have to put more into strength, probably, to make that viable. Like, it feels weird making her a War Cleric and then leaving her strength anywhere below, like, 14. But I don't like either of these spells. Not really. Not for how I use her. Because, again, I think Bless is better. Light. 
This is a concentration spell as well. Oh, that's kind of dumb. That's kind of dumb. Basically, you're paying for the buff. I think I might go with Light Domain. I know I have a problem with bulkiness, but the thing is, the Trickery Domain has no bonus to bulk. Like, this gives you some, but I never use it. The Our, our Shadow Heart has had like 17 to 18 or 19 AC this entire time without having more Domain. So, I think I kind of want to go with Life. Just kind of like home in on what she does. Like, you know, just be very specific to what she does. Heal. And a better bless. Kind of like it. Okay. Why is your strength 15? Really? So a normal cleric build is usually strength and wit. And strength and wit. It threw me off because her build was different. Because she was a trickery one. Hmm. I almost want to do this to make her a melee character. Because I only have one melee character in the party otherwise. Maybe I should at least try it. And instead of using Bless, um, if I can really keep my Bard and my Caster back enough, I can have her and Karlak in the front. And I can use Armor or Shield of Faith on Karlak, making both of them fairly tanky. And I can even use this sometimes if I want. Yeah, let's 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 it's a new it's it's a different kind of um playstyle. Instead of using bless, I'll use shield of faith and just be up front. And I can attack more than once with some charges. Sure. Why not try something different? I'm never going to get to use this on my paladin playthrough, so why not? No, <laughs> get out of here. Well, I don't know. With a new play style, maybe I should use this. It's a concentration spell, though. Yeah, if I use this, it would make using the other thing harder. I'll just lighten there. Wait, what? Inch? Why? Did that affect my... Oh, that's weird. So the... The recommended stats for a life cleric is 15 strength. But the recommended stats for a war domain cleric, which is the one that's supposed to be up front hitting things, is 11? That's weird. Isn't it? Isn't that weird? I mean, the dex is there. Also, why is the dex there? For he With heavy armor, you have like, what, zero to one dexterity to AC with heavy armor? Why would you want 14 dexterity? It's like it's reversed. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, with heavy armor, you're going to get like plus zero from the AC. That, that plus two to AC doesn't do anything. Whereas the life cleric would probably want the higher dex, and they have 10. This is this is weird. It's like flipping the recommendation, I think. Yeah, and the whole reason to go this for me is to try out heavy armor. So the dex is useless. But this class is supposed to be about also hitting things, because you have like this and this. Then why is it... Th this is weird. It even still recommends strength. Just take care of that. Yeah, all our AC is going to be coming from heavy armor, so we don't need dexterity. I'm pretty sure heavy armor gives you plus zero from dex, so we don't need it. Now, obviously, until I can equ equip heavy armor, I kind of need it, but. So, yeah, we're kind of turning us. We're kind of turning her into a paladin, honestly. Yeah, we're kind of turning her into a paladin. That's wisdom instead of charisma. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this nonsense. 
when we level up, we can do one wisdom, one constitution. Oh, this is, oh, this is going to be, we're just making a paladin, kind of. Okay. These really don't matter on my, on my party members since I do all the talking. Yeah. Like perception matters. Um, survival matters for those checks when you see like traps and stuff. So yeah, like insight kind of matters. Uh, perception kind of matters. I can't do perception though. All I can do is history, medicine, and medicine might matter. There might be a check of some kind where that might matter. This does nothing. History? <laughs> it really doesn't matter what I put it into. Because you can't change your background. That's also something else you can't change. Be careful when you're picking your background on a character. You can't change that when you respec. I'm not even sure what her back... Do, do characters even get backgrounds besides their main character? I don't think, because there's nothing from that. Yeah, I think it's just your main character. I mean, that's fine. Okay, this is our new, this is our new Shadow Heart. She's been doing some bulking up. The health is a bit lacking <laughs> on the level up, but maybe I should have bumped Khan a little bit more. Oh, well. Oh, replenished on short rest. Cool. So those double melee attacks uh, replenish on long on short rest. Nice. Turn on dead. Guided strike. You gain a plus 10 bonus to your attack roll. It's okay. I can do that, too. Paired spells. Well. Oh, I forgot she got Bane, too. Bless is better. Um, I know that if I use Bless, I have a hard time using the armor ability that comes with my subclass. Because they're, they're both concentration. But this is like, what if I'm surrounded by enemies? And all it'd be good if all my teammates had something on them. If I can control the fight in like a bottleneck... Then I can use the, I can use the, uh, shield one. Um, command is always kind of fun as a just in case thing, like make a boss drop their weapon. Uh, obviously healing word. I'm still going to put creator destroy water. I still think it might have a use of some kind. Hmm. What do we want as our final one? Guiding Bolt is actually pretty good because the next attack has advantage. It could like it could set up Carlac for a big hit. Hmm. I just need to be careful with concentration spells. As long as Bless is the only one I have, that's fine. Because it's situational. Bless or the shield one. I... I know running <coughs> Cure Wounds is weird. <coughs> but if I have to heal outside of combat for some reason, this is better to use. Of course, if I don't want to use it in combat, I could just put it on outside of combat if I really want to use it. I'm thinking... I mean, that's situational. Uh... Come in handy. I mean, her spells are mostly going to be for bless, armor, move, and heal. So everything is good. Okay. <clears throat> Got a bunch of new spells. I like to swap this in when I want to heal outside of combat. Hold is also good. Oh, I just get both these spells. I get Spiritual Weapon, and this is a better version of it because of my subclass. Or I get Magic Weapon. Infuse a weapon with Arcane Energy. 
A melee weapon becomes magical, receiving a plus one bonus to attack and damage roll. But it's a concentration spell. <laughs> so many concentration spells. I'd rather do the armor or bless. You know? Go ahead and take off Cure Wounds and put on a level two spell would be nice since, you know, I have them. What do you think would be good on a War Cleric? Since they're more since they're more on the front line instead of like some somewhere in the middle, something like aid isn't as useful because I probably can't hit the guys in the back. Uh I've heard warding bond can be pretty good. It's also not concentration, and it also lasts until long rest. That's good. Like put this on Karlak and also put the shield on Karlak. And they both have like AC 20. It's not bad. It's not a bad idea. Um, I mean, hold is also good, but I have that. Bestow a magical enchantment upon its concentration spell. I'm trying to avoid those. Uh, I'm thinking this. And do a combination of the shield and this, I think might be pretty good. I could try it. Okay, I gain a cantrip. I'll be honest, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about these. This is a concentration cantrip, which means I'm not going to use it. Um, this is an advantage on intimidation and performance checks. I Why? Uh, Blade Ward only lasts one turn, basically. And then you have this. She already has the fire cantrip for being a high half-elf. This does make a little bit of light, but so does light. Wow, I don't like any of these. This is useless. I would never use this. This only lasts for one turn. My turn is probably better spent doing something else. Like, in this case, melee hitting, since which, that she can do that now. And it's also only a self thing, I believe. I don't think you can cast this on other people. I, I, I guess? Maybe if I'm in front of a boss and I know something's coming, I can bunker down and use this. I don't know. I mean, I could make a flame and it could last until long rest. But we also just have lighting abilities. I guess that's fine. I don't know. I think... I don't know. I think either one is just like, I'm probably never going to use it. Eh, sure. Get out of here. I'd like to put another level two spell in there, just because I have a bunch of level ones. Aid. I could do hold. It's probably better if I use it. But hold could be like a just in case spell in there. It's useful. Yeah. And my feet. Obviously, the easiest go to first feat for level four is give me my two points. There's also Warcaster. You gain advantage on concentration saves. You, all, you can also use a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp. That's not bad. I'm wondering when I can wear heavy armor. Can I wear heavy armor now? I know that the Warcaster can wear heavy armor. I just don't know when. Like, do I have... To? I mean... I think I could already have taken this before, so... Yeah, we're definitely doing this for that and that. All right, it's like Shadow Hearts, a new person. So yeah, can I wear the heavy armor? I don't have any heavy armor because I sold it all. Oops. Hmm. Well, that means if I find any more, I can use it. 
AC 12. Man, our AC is not great. I do more damage with my mace now. That's fun. Hmm. Yeah. Once I find some heavy armor, she can equip it. Which means I might have wanted to save, but I mean, it doesn't matter. I wasn't using the trickery stuff anyway, so. Um. I thought about respecting Gale just for his other thing, but I'll leave it alone for now. Time to rest. Okay, now let's take our long rest. We got, we've been at camp for like an hour. But we did some good stuff. Better not be cursed. Yes. Wait. Wait. Now... The wording. I, I haven't long rested very long, very often in this game. I just hit yes, right? And it lets me choose what food I use. But it's almost like that's a warning. Like, you have enough camping supplies to restore all hit points. Don't you want to do that? And I think it's just, I think it's just like worded a little weird. It almost sounds like you're trying to end the day and not do a long rest. And the game is like, don't you want to do a long rest? You can. Yeah, now we do it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, let's have let's have some meat. How about an orange, a salami, another salami, a bunch of oh, oh no, too many. Yeah, sure. Full rest. I know we're not that hurt, but we're missing, like, all our spells. Oh, is the Guardian back? Oh. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought a Mind Flayer might know how to extricate one of its own from you. But a Meloem couldn't help you. Your tadpole lives. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. She mentions the fact that the tadpole can't be removed, but it's it's her fault. Even if she doesn't admit it, like the magic that's keeping it from transforming us is also keeping it from being messed with. Yeah, he mentioned some sort of strange magic preventing the tadpole from being removed. What do you know about that? Omeluam is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. I think that's Until you, the though. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed. Any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Umeluam realized this before he attempted a fatal extraction. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. He made it like he made it sound like the same magic that was preventing it from taking us over was also preventing it from. But he did say he could take off the magic that prevented it from being removed and not the magic that prevents it from transforming. So maybe it is separate. How do, you, how do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. 
When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I mean, I, yeah, thanks for that, but I mean, I don't want to use the power. I mean, it's, I, who are you? It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Hmm. What's going on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. See, it sounds like convincing someone of something is going to be key in, like, saving us. It, it's like it's like the, the tadpole's power of persuasion kind of offsets if you're playing a character that has, like, no charisma. If you're playing a character that has zero charisma, maybe you, you might actually have to use the tadpole or else you just can't do certain things that you might have to. But since I'm playing as a very persuasive bard, I don't need the tadpole. So if I'm going to play through and not use the tadpole's power, I guess being a bard is a pretty good one. Because I don't need its power of influence. Yeah, I got all my bardic inspiration back, which will go in like one fight. Like I said, the bardic inspiration stuff or cutting words, as my version is. I have it. I have it. Ask me. Because I don't want to use it if I don't have to. Like if an attack is going to do little damage, then it's just like, eh, whatever. OK, we are good. Hopefully when I come back from. Uh, just come back. Getting used to the sky. May, hopefully no one's dead. <laughs> hopefully I didn't just not, screw myself out of a thing. We're still finding the mushroom picker. Free the artist. Finish my, uh, yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Well, Gail's on the team now. I kind of want to go back to the shop. I kind of want to go back to that shop we found and see if I have, if they have anything for Gail. I don't think I don't think they really did. That's fine. Gale's thing is about his spells, though. Like his. Lovely day, this. I think we can deal with it. How does this work? Arcane recovery charge. The number and level of spell slots the arcane recovery action can restore. You cannot restore spell slots above. Okay, so you can use this to give you back two. Or one of each, two of each, or two of each, zero of one, whatever. Is that blood? No, never mind. But yeah, I have Gale with me just for AoE spells. Because I've been seriously lacking in that. Ooh. We have a quarter staff. We have simple robes. We have scribbled notes. And we have ice crystal. I could probably use that to craft something, maybe. Yep. It used to be attached to something. Maybe I can combine it with a quarter staff. Hmm. Now, I did just get an orange item. Also. Oh, it takes two pieces. OK. Interesting. Protector. 
Guardian of the Am uh, Adamantine Forge. From Magma Rose, only in Magma Destroyed. Hot. Hammer hot. A small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Dorn knows. According to these oh. Maps, there's an adamantine forge down here. Cool. So we need to find the adamantine forge. Doesn't show up on the map. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> well, we'll keep looking. I could go um, up north. Oh, take some bark from the... Oh, the, the tree's actually down. I can take the bark. Awesome. I can go get the bark. Uh, this is where you find the mushroom picker. This is where... Yeah, let's go back up here. I want to do this first, anyway. Everything, really. Let's get that... Let's see if we can get that bark. Question is, how do I get it? Maybe I have to go further up? Aha. I've got the plans and the Sousa bark. Now I need somewhere to craft it all. Yep, which means I need the Animanti Forge. Oh, or that. <laughs> I guess I have, yeah, I can do it anywhere. Um, the bark can be combined with a dagger, sickle, or greatsword. I kept a dagger. I think it has to be a dagger that has nothing else on it. So I have one right here. But I have the one that uses a dagger. I don't use Asterion. So I was thinking maybe sickle if I find one. Maybe I'd save it for a sickle. A woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Merely? That if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. No offense taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. Hmm. Well, they're not friends yet, but sounds like they don't hate each other. <laughs> I guess that's fine. So... Get down there, huh? Let's see how our new cleric works. She's like a paladin, but less health. Why do I get the feeling there's going to be some kind of fight over? Oh, hey. <laughs> um. Well, this is interesting because these mushrooms cause spores and then the spores explode and cause a chain reaction which would probably kill him <laughs> he's standing right in the middle of it but i think if here's the thing you can destroy the mushrooms without exploding them but the spores stick around for a while so i'm wondering if i destroy all the mushrooms will the spores go away eventually like i, I don't want to blow them up. Hmm. But how do I get to him without killing him? <laughs> um. Yeah, see, it just makes spores. Uh-oh. 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 I think he died. I think he might be dead. So I should have paid attention to the torch over there. Apparently when you, but I guess some of the spores got over there somehow and they exploded. Uh, how would you even do that? If any spores come out, they explode because of the fire. How would you ever do that? Maybe sneak? Softer than Could I have done a uh, done some sneaking? What path lies before me? Well, I mean, I found the guy. 
I found him. Hey, dried sausage links. Mmm. Uh, a scroll of invisibility, a knife, and I'll take the rope. Hey, maybe I can talk to him. Corpse too damaged. Why is it every time I think that talk with dead is going to be useful, it always says corpse too damaged? Well, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> wait, survival. Survival. Hmm. Salts of Chasm Creeper. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I could have, I could have lighted. Well, don't do that if there's spores left, I guess. Is there nothing in here? <laughs> it's just, just the dead guy, huh? Oh. Well, um, sorry. Sorry, I may have, uh... <laughs> I guess we'll go back and tell her he's dead. And if she asks, the mushrooms killed him. I'm not lying. Guys. Yeah, let's go back and let her know. Turning on turn-based mode would have but I wouldn't have but I wouldn't have been able to get that far though in one move probably. I kind of forget where where she is. Uh up here. I kind of forgot about turn-based mode, but even if I had used it, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have gotten all the way to him. And then how would I get him out? <laughs> uh. Well. Yeah. Let me look at your wares first, in case you're mad enough at me not to trade with me. Pick the bag up and throw it at him. So it sounds like nobody would have saved him on the first try without knowing. Do I need anything for an awesome spellcaster? Oh, I could buy some heavy armor, I guess. Wait, why is this sorted weird? Wasn't it? What? Is this sorted weird? Can I sort this person's inventory? I could buy some Alchemist Fire. Those are fun, even though I never use them. Potion of Greater Healing. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, you get no AC bonus from Heavy Armor. Good. Then, there's a, then good. It's good that I didn't give her any dexterity. Here, let's just switch. Well, let's keep him in here for now. I don't think he I don't think he can wear light armor. I think he's stuck with robes. Well, I know I know how to sort my inventory. I just don't know how to sort like this person's inventory. Cuz it's it's like differently sorted than it used to be. Hmm. What heavy armor do you have? Do you only have this? AC 15. Well, you have nothing for this guy. You have nothing for Gale. Pretty sure Gale can't wear light armor. I will I will double check, though. I will double check. If Gale can wear light armor, then I'll get him some. Do I have a light armor in my inventory? That's medium. Uh, 
that already. Gale can wear light armor. So the only benefit to wearing robes is mage armor, which I don't have on him. So I want light armor for Gale. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Well, it's if you if you use light if you use mage armor, it's better because mage armor gives you plus three AC, whereas light armor will usually give you like one or two. But Gale doesn't have mage armor. At least I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Gale, you have mage armor? You have mage armor as like a bonus thing I don't know about. He does have mage armor. But I, just for simplicity, I'd rather give him light armor that gives him one or two AC than have to use a level one spell to cast this. Wait, can't cast spells. Wait, you have boots on that are. Oh, those are medium armor. Whoops. Whoopsie. Wasn't paying attention. Well, mage armor is a spell. Uh, Gale has access to it, at least. Yeah. It gives you, um... Wait. Protective target increases its armor class to 13 plus dexterity modifier. Okay, so it's not plus three, technically. It's 13 minimum plus dexterity. Which, in Gale's case, would be... two It'd be 15 so gale would have 15 ac with mage armor but with light armor i can probably get it to like 13 maybe 14 also it saves me a spell slot i don't have to use mage armor as a spell i'll take one or two less ac for one more spell especially since i'm going to make sure to keep gale in the back speaking of that oh they're on will aren't they Oh, they're on Will. He has my things that, like, catch missiles. That's actually good on Gale. It's a D10 plus your dexterity modifier, which is plus two for him. All right. Hey, um. Hey, Will. I need your stuff. Adventure. Boy, I wish I could mess with people's inventories without having to come back here and put them in my party. That's... Directly. One of the annoying things about this game. Oh, where, where is Will? Where's me? No rest for the wicked, I see. Wait, why am I? No, stop that. There. Never a dull moment. Nope, stop it. <laughs> I want her third. Okay. Well, I mean, for like people that aren't in your party. It'd be nice if when you're at camp, you could do hit this button and you could see like everybody, but you can't. So first off, I need to find Will. <laughs> Which dot is Will? Oh, Will. There you are. Christ. Well, first I need to go to Gale and tell get out of of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Except I'm a bard, and I have great persuasion skills. Now, if you were playing, like, Barbarian with, like, negative one, <laughs> then maybe it would be required. But I have persuasion. Hmm. Our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. We shouldn't rely on them or their powers. Yeah. I admire the vigor with which you uphold your principles, but would remind you that the evils of the Absolute are far greater than any moral compromise we might make by using our tadpoles' full potential. 
Your confidence in our existing capabilities is quite rousing, though. Perhaps that spirited enthusiasm will be strength enough to subdue the cult when the time comes. Yeah, with my powers of persuasion. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. All right, Will, back in the party. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Hmm. So could not missing a bunch of high percentage Eldritch Blasts. But I don't see it doing that. Uh... Yeah. Then we do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly. If you must use them. I've all. used it once. Once. And it was to actually avoid a fight, probably. So there was like there was no option to like persuade them to leave. I had to use that to leave to make them leave. That's the spirit. OK. Will. I need give me that dancing lights cantrip thing. Put it on her for now. Give me your potions of healing since Gaelic has none. <laughs> Give me. Why do you have just books on you? Uh, Give me the gloves of missile snaring. That'll be good for Gale. And. I know this is like kind of pointless on now. I put it on because it looks cool. I'm doing like with Will. He has a free mage armor cast. So it doesn't use a slot. So that's why I use it on him. So having clothing on him with 10 AC is better. Um, I guess that's it. He really doesn't have anything else to use. Okay. Well met. Get out of my party. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ring and just... What's on your mind? Tadpole. With pleasure. Lead on. Okay. Got that on. Uh, we can also use dancing lights if I feel like it. And here's some more potions. Since you're a squishy wizard, you might want to have those. I can probably sell some stuff, though. I don't have a lot to sell, though. We don't have to. I've, we, the, last, we, the last hour and a half of playing this game, I've done nothing except for, like, management. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go do some stuff. You seem to be quite proud of your compliments earlier. Now we tell her that her husband blew up. More now than ever. Careful you don't pull a muscle in your haste. Well? Yeah, he died. Dead? Worthless old fool. He had one bleeding job. I have a feeling like what do I get the feeling like 90% of the players of this game kill him. I even knew the spores would explode. And I should have been I should have been like, oh, there's a torch over there. Oh. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you know. love. <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin was a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years before his mind started to go. Softened him up. Made him realize how much he needed me. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. Oh. That sucks. What are you doing in here? Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Not no more, though. What makes the mushroom so valuable? I've yet met an ailment it couldn't help. Baldness, Baldness blindness, you say. poison, piles, and best of all, it cures my dangerously underweight purse. See. 
I'll find my way out. No point hanging around this den of misery. Uh, has anyone here played Final Fantasy XIV a good amount? The fact that there's a potion that cures baldness just reminds me of a scene. That's early into a certain story, Kane. That's like in or a little after a Realm Reborn. I, I, I barely got to the first expansion. But like a scene in the background where some guy's just putting like a potion on his head. <laughs> just reminds me of that animation. Uh, okay, well. Can I go up here? Have I, have I been up here? Oh, I have the map turn weird. That's why that was confusing. Oh yeah, that's, that's the room I can't go in. If I were to knock it down, the mushroom people will probably be very unhappy with me. So let's take a look here. We could go this way. Or we could continue to look over here. Either way is fine. I would like to gain a level today, but it's probably not going to happen. The, the more levels you gain, like the harder and harder they are to get. As you can see, we're not super close. Also, I need to cast um, Speak with Animals. Oh, I also need to cast the uh, Long Strider. It's also a free spell. They're both ritual spells. So I just gave all of us Longstrider for free. Seems like a pretty good spell. Oh, oh, there's a dead mushroom person. Well, the mushroom people are kind of our friends. That's kind of sad. Nothing over there. Open up. Oh, base. I'll, I'll take some basic poison. So we have options. I kind of want to go this way and like meet the map together. I kind of like doing that, connecting the maps before I go any further down. Also, this looks. This is looking to be like an area that might require some fighting. This little town area. Now let's let's go over here first. I know I should really be sneaking more so I can get the drop on enemies. I really should. But if I was role playing this D&D &D type thing, I would not be sneaking. I, I'm not a sneaky person. Oh, yep. See, it's down there. OK. All right, recording is back for YouTube. Yay. The, the the hard drive that I use to record to is my old OS drive from my old computer. I wanted an SSD, but didn't have to. I didn't want to spend money on it. <laughs> so. I mean, it works, but it's only like 240 gigs. So. Like two Baldur's Gate recordings is that big. All right. Come back down here. Take a look here. I don't want to get to the tower yet. I want to explore over here first. And it looks like this is pretty much going straight to the tower. So now I kind of want to go back and kind of focus on the middle area of the map. Which is fine, because I can just go this way. Oh, that's right. It's a big drop. No, I can't. <laughs> Tombstone. Pizza. That's curious. I like how when I hear the when I hear the word tombstone, the first thing I think of is pizza. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. Pepperoni. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. May you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Dig up the grave. What, the, what kind of? What? I'd have to. No, that's 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 for like the jerk playthrough. <laughs> if 
Guys, come on. Let me... Guys, come on. Come on. We have a potion of speed. A rotten tomato. And a malachite. Okay. Well, we can leave the rotten tomato. Oh. Grab that. Maybe, maybe at the start of next stream in Baldur's Gate, which will probably be on Monday, since we're doing Pokemon DLC Thursday and Friday this week, but possibly also Monday and Tuesday if it, does, if it goes long. Whatever the next Baldur's Gate stream is, at the very latest Thursday. Uh, maybe I'll do some alchemy. Maybe I'll finally dabble in alchemy. I'm sure there's not much to it. Like, I keep thinking it's going to be like this weird, this like convoluted big system. I'm sure it's not. I just keep putting it off. Okay, so how many bad guys are down here? Camp. It looks abandoned. Oh, it's abandoned. Good. Ooh. Hmm. There's a rail system down here. It looks like it's cut off. Here, let's finish the map this way and connect it. This leads just in a circle back over here. Ah. I can sell that crossbow. Oh, we know where this goes. Yep, I've already been up here. That leads back to the little Mushroomville. Back down here we go. Oh, I can't take that. Every little bit helps for my crafting. So what is down here? I've got some dead bodies. Three dead bodies. I uh, can't really mess with anything else. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Crooked Wand of Fireballs. What is this? You can use an action to cast Fireball from this broken wand. All very nearby creatures must make a dexterity saving throw. Targets take 8 to 48 fire damage on a saved on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Metal of this wand is dented all along its shaft, and the tip is bent entirely out of place. It, so you can use this once per short rest. Interesting. I wonder if I can fix it. I mean, it's kind of screams like crafting, right? I guess not. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so it's like a one-time cast thing per short rest. That's not bad. That's kind of fun. It's just a casting item. It also says very close. So maybe Carlac or Shadowheart would be better with it. Yeah. Sure. You know, I'm sure there's a guide for this game already like this, but it's kind of like a game like, um, like Skyrim or Fallout. Well, there's probably guides for, like, what are the best items you can get as early as possible by looting and going to certain places. Like, I'm sure I've already missed some good stuff that was available early. Like Elden Ring. I apparently found a very good sword early on. Oh, Elden Ring, I'll play you again eventually. Something good here. I, I gotta be in the mood for that game. I bought it. I'm going to play it more. <laughs> uh, Well, but I like crafting. Crafting's fun. Usually. Usually fun. <laughs> Nothing in here. Wait. Wait, there's a... Oh, there's books. Hey, books are money.
Oh, we already did that one. Nothing here. Or oh, that reminds me, I should just do this. Yeah. Wait, wave point discovered. Wave wave point discovered. Oh, I discovered it like oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Line of sight, I guess. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, this looks like a boss room. <laughs> Doesn't this look like a boss room where I want to stay up top and like shoot down and this looks like looks like a room where I'm just gonna get ambushed. Can I get up here? Can I Can I make the jumpy? That's a big jump if I can make that jump. Uh no, I can. Oh, I wonder if you explode. Hmm. Hmm. I should probably start. I should probably finish looking around over here first. Yep. Jumpy. Nothing over here. I mean, this just it looks like a place I'm going to have to fight. So I'm trying to avoid, like, going down there, and I'm staying up here for now. That just leads back up there. Check out this room over here. Oh. It's like an ambush. Ambush, huh? Hmm. Didn't see ambush coming. Hmm. I mean, it looks like I can talk to him. Does it? Doesn't look like I can talk to him. Ambushing. Like an entity will attack as soon as its enemies are within reach. Okay, fine. He's a bad guy. Okay. Is he the only one left? <laughs> it's just, just the one guy. I mean, he's level seven. Let me tell you something here. If this, if this area is full of nothing but level seven enemies, I'm dead. But if it's just like one level seven enemy... I'm I should be fine. Hmm. Wait, why is Carlac Breathe deep. Why is Carlac not What are you doing? What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us. Hi. Hold up your palms in peace. What's this? Got ourselves an infiltrator. You move pretty quietly. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Oh, come on. I can, I can talk my way out of this. I'm good. I'm fine. Take your hand off that axe before you lose it. No. No, this is not. A, I don't think this is a situation that recalls for this. Persuasion. I can be discreet. No need for bloodshed. I'm not trying to meta game where I know my persuasion's better. In a situation where I'm potentially surrounded by by dwarves in their territory, I don't think I want to attempt an intimidation roll. Something tells me it wouldn't work as well as maybe maybe making it sound like like you know like like oh no I'm not a threat I'm good instead of rather saying like I am a threat fear me. Fifteen, huh? Fifteen, huh? Eh. Well, depends on the rolls I get, I think. Never mind, I got it. Fine. I'll let you live. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Oh, what are you doing here? Told you, hunting. Slave ran away, took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda wish I had fought him. 
Maybe I still can. I, I, I'm not helping a slave catcher. I, yeah, that's we're not doing that. A bleeding heart, are you? Reckon I'll just roast and eat it. Okay, well. <laughs> Ow! What? Ow! Stop! Ow! What is happening? What is happening? Is there a reason why that guy got to go 50 times? What was that? I'm already almost dead. Please help me. You got to shoot two arrows and do it. Come on. Oh, they're like all over the place. Uh oh, I'm I'm probably dead. <laughs> I'm probably dead. Like Gale is down to five health already. Like I'm I'm against this many people, I'm probably dead. That was my action? Switching from my torch back to my weapon? Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, I can't take this much damage. I'm trying not to do long rests, and I just... Mm, level 5, level 7, level 5. I'm, I'm so dead. Um, Like, I don't want to use a lot of my spells. So I'm definitely in trouble. Well, he's succeeded in concentrating, which means I'm in trouble. Uh, what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to... We're going to kind of like pile in here, maybe. Although I don't... Mm, the, he has the AoE arrow things. I got this. Hi, Karlak. You're... Not on fire yet. Gale is. And Gale got messed up. I could just go like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I push him off the cliff? Hmm. <sighs> Something I have yet to pick up on this game. See, that jump made it seem like I could jump from there. But I actually had to move a little bit before jumping, which I was not aware of. So I'm on fire now. <laughs> this game hates me. And that was my bonus action, so I can't push. If I had known I was going to light on fire anyway, I would have saved the push for... Okay. Can I just throw him? Can I throw him? No, I can't. Forty-five. What the? Oh, I yeah. We're, this this fight got off to a bad start so quickly. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I can't do it. They'll just murder her if I do it. I wonder if this is worth the cost, Mr. Rill. Well, you're already on fires, and you're almost dead. I could use a healing potion as a bonus action. I mean, you're already on fire. What's more fire going to do to you? Here, just come over here. Bonus action to heal. Shepherd. Remember to stay hydrated. Why do these guys such a, have high... So, why do these guys have such high defense? Ugh. How about my spells that I want to use? Um, 45. Is there a spell I can do that doesn't require me to hit him? <laughs> so, hey, can I do Mage Hand and push him? I feel like we're just dead this fight. That's a sub goal for the for the anniversary week. I'm going to ray a freeze him. I did minimum damage. Oh, there's more of them. 
Hey, we're all silenced. Awesome. Rob, 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 dead body. Critical miss. Ugh. This fight is awful. Okay, well, Shadowheart is once is kind of our tank now, so. I am silenced, which kind of sucks. Um, wait, what does silence do in this game? I don't know. I'm not silenced. Well, who's silenced? Somebody was silenced. Silenced. Can't speak or cast spells with a verbal component. Is immune to thunder damage. Let's see, hi Bigfoot. This fight is, uh, terrible. <laughs> I'm really trying to save my spells because I literally just rested, but I don't know how this fight's going to work. 40%. Saved again. Uh... I could bonus attack, but it would use one of my charges. <laughs> I think I kind of have to. Uh, they're on cooldown. Someone just did them. I could do cutting words to make him miss. This attack does three to 12 damage and can ensnare me. And snarl, snarl me. I think there are worse things to get hit by. Okay, he did like near max damage. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm blind. Hmm. Nice. That's one down. Uh, you're coming in this way. You have a lot of health. Uh, d d d run away in the corner. <laughs> Just hide in the corner. All right, Carlac, I want you to push this guy off the cliff. He won't fall very far, unfortunately. Um, get the Zambi. And then as a bonus action, push. Better have taken some damage from that. Wait, really? You took like one damage? What the? Uh, okay. Gale, who's almost dead. Um, eight HP left. Can't cast spells because silenced. Yep. Well, that's okay because that's why I have. A ranged attack. One HP. If only I could cast a spell. Oh. Oh, uh, Gale has like no strength, but what if I do this? 35% and he goes nowhere. Uh, how about I just run back over here? There's stuff going on in there I can't see. Oh, he dashed. Good. That means he can't do anything. Unless he's like a weird rogue that person, then he can. Okay. Oh, that's a drop. If you play Baldur's Gate and link your account, you get a drop. Which I have. It's just clothing you use in camp. Okay, you still have a good amount of health. God, you have 62 health. Um, get up close. I want you... I want you to cast Shield of Faith on yourself to make it even harder to hit. I think I'm going to have to do this. 
Concentration spell, which means I can't use another one. Uh, that was a bonus action. I'm going to use an action to hit. You have high. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Take that. Oh, more zombies. <laughs> It's all right. Carlac can handle the zombies. Invincibility. Oh, invisibility. Ugh. If I go back into the silence bu bubble thing, I can't cast spells that have that are verbal, which is everything on a bard probably. But if I move here. I can at least shoot some zombies and get these off, off the field. Oh, there's like two HP left. Three. I'm heating up. All right, Carlac. Oh, there's two that have like no health left. Hmm. Kill this one. <laughs> We're three experience. That's pretty depressing. As a bonus action, I could use Pommel Strike. It's not lethal, but it would take him out of the fight. But it's only a zombie. What, what, what are they going to do to me? The dice roll in my favor. Gale can also kill him. Gale, I don't want you to get too close to these guys because they will mess you up. Of course. Wait, I'm still silenced? There we go. Honestly, I have not played console in a while. Anything that's on PC and Xbox, I get on PC now. The only games I will ever get for Xbox at this point are Xbox only, which I already have. I don't have the new Xbox. So it's just uh, honestly for like if you if you have a PC that can play games, you know, that's cool. Like I just I only get exclusive. Like that's why I have a Nintendo Switch. I because a lot of uh, most Nintendo games don't come to PC, but a lot of Xbox and PlayStation games do now. It all depends on what you like. Like, if you don't have a PC that can play games, obviously there's Mass Effect, there's Dragon Age. I mean, if you're looking for games that, like, you get a lot for your money, you can get the Dragon Age games on sale pretty cheap when they're on sale, and they're, they're, they're just hours of gameplay. It also just depends on what you like. Kill him. I have a lightning charge. I'm really not paying attention to what that does. <laughs> like, I really should pay attention. Um, How did it say again? Yeah, they gain two lightning charges, which makes me do like a little lightning damage here and there. I can't use the boots, unfortunately, because they're medium armor. But I can use the staff. Here comes more stuff I can't see. All right, it's getting a little, it's getting a little uh, crowded over here. Opportunity attack. Stop doing that. Can I push you off this? What's wait? What's with the angle? Like I'm trying to push. Why am I? Why is my push facing him this way? Pushing him that way. Maybe he's kind of like catching on this and coming back. I can't I can't really tell. What if I move you here? Oh. Unfortunately, he won't take a lot of damage, but at least he'll be out of my face. There. Smack. Push. Yeah, I got her. <laughs> yeah, pushing's fun. And I'm gonna come back to you just so you're my you I'm in your face. Uh, eh, not terrible. Got so many random spells of annoyance. Um, why is Shadowheart grayed out? 
Oh, it's because yeah, when the enemies go in between your teammates, you, yeah, there's two, there's two right there. I mean, there's so many PC games I haven't played. I didn't have a PC that could play games until like I started streaming, really. So there's a lot of probably PC only games I've never touched. Actually, one game I've been wanting to try, I'm waiting to do it on stream because you unlock stuff very quickly in it, and I want to start from scratch on stream. Can make a good like one off Saturday stream. Uh, Vampire Survivor. <laughs> I want to I want to try that. I got it on sale for like three fifty. You unlock stuff. I know you unlock stuff like very quickly early on in that game, so I kind of want to do that on stream. Now, what do I do about this? I haven't used a single spell yet. I could use some spells. I think I'm being a little too. Uh, st like stingy on my spell usage on my way. I mean, I could just do vicious mockery. Thirty five person. No wonder I'm not using spells. Uh, 45. 45 percent on that. What about hold? Yeah. There's a reason why I'm not using spells, I guess. Five. Go for it. Critical miss, not just a miss. Critical miss. Run away. Carlac. Why aren't you dead? Didn't I kill you? And I'm going to push this guy back down because it's fun. Oh, he actually goes all the way down. Awesome. It failed. 75% chance to maybe instant kill the zombie. And it failed. One can't always be a gentleman. There's a lot of bad stuff going on over here. Uh... Okay, no longer silenced. If I'm no longer silenced, why can't I use a spell? Interesting. And I'm silenced again. Hold on. I'm trying to move like just barely. Yeah, whatever. There. Now I. That was weird. Now I can use a spell. I mean, if you want to talk about JRPGs, like a specific genre, I love the Final Fantasy games. I mean, there's an easy answer for this. My favorite, like, JRPG besides Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger. That's a kind of a cop-out answer. I honestly haven't played that many JRPGs besides Final Fantasy games. I've never played a single Persona or Call or Breath of the Wild or Breath of the Wild. Like, Breath, all the old ones like Breath of Fire. I want to play the Xenosaga games. Not just the ones on like the new systems, like like the those games. Like, I mean, like those actual Xeno Saga games that were on PlayStation Two, the sci-fi ones. I want to play them. If I had to pick a JRPG that I've played, that's not that's not Square Enix. Well, no, that's Square. Never mind. I was gonna say Dragon Quest Eleven. That's also Square Enix. My favorite JRPG that's not Square Enix. Uh. <laughs> uh. I'd have to think about that one. I I I don't even have an answer. I would say it's like, yeah, I'd like to dip my toe out of the Square Enix pool, but there's so many games. Um I wish one of my spells had a pushback. fine. Here comes the fun again. And large. Oh, he's big dwarf now. <laughs> hey, he, he's now he's an enlarged dwarf. Now he's the size of a regular person. <laughs> Not even really. He's, he's a lot muscular. Devil May Cry. Yes, I played the first one. Not really my game. The, 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 the game that relies on like really like knowing the combo system well is not my kind of I, I suck at it. Like, kind of like Bayonetta type games. I've also never played a Bayonetta game. Hmm. I could use Guided Strike. Hello? Hello? 
Why is the game loading? What just happened? What? What? Why is the game loading? Um. Well, that's great. <laughs> I think we just lost the whole fight. Because I saved it sometime before that. The fight was actually going fairly decent, too. Like, I mentioned I want this playthrough to be as, like, non-safe scummy as I can. The problem is, now that I have to probably redo the fight, I know what to expect from the first, like, barrage of that guy. Don't group up. So it kind of makes the fight a little easier for me. But, I mean, the game literally crashed on me. I, I can't do anything. Let me try doing this. Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> just, the game was just like, I'm going to load now. I also can't get to the menu at all. Uh, Yeah, nothing's working. All right. I like how we're talking about PC gaming. That's PC gaming right there. Like, that is PC gaming. Crashes. Even the PC versions of games crash more on PC. Like, I only had Mass Effect 1 crash on the Xbox 360 in, like, one place. That was the DLC. Like, I don't remember Mass Effect 2 and 3 crashing at all when I played it on Xbox. On PC, several times. <laughs> like, it's just like, that's just a PC thing. Ah, PC gaming. Well, now I'm sad. For that, that fight was a little above my level, but I think I was actually doing pretty well. And it would have gotten me some nice chunks of experience. What I'm worried about is the fight going worse for me now. Oh, why did it move? OBS, what is with you? I don't understand what OBS's problem is lately. The game has like somehow resized itself again. What are you doing? All right, here. I moved it out of there. Now if I go to transform. Yep. I don't know how it does that. It automatically transformed itself to the wrong resolution. Uh, game, please. OBS, please. Okay. Now, I think there actually still is a glitch in this game. I, it hasn't been fixed yet. Oh. OBS is kind of lagging a little bit now. Even though the game is running at the same settings it was before. Um, Do that. And then do that. Sometimes when you start up the game, or all the time for me, it can be a little, uh, a little, like, blurry looking. If you go into settings and do what I just did, it fixes it. Yep, I'm here. <laughs> Not only did we lose, act, like, lose the fight, but we also lost, like, progress as well. Like, uh, I know I need to save it more often, but that was not my fault. <laughs> I didn't want a quick save in the middle of a fight. Well, there's a spot in original Mass Effect 1 that supposedly is also in Legendary Edition in where when you go to Vermeer and unlock a certain door and then do a certain action, it causes like a memory leak. And apparently it's persistent through the entire game. Like if you save the game after that, you're screwed. You have to like go back and just not do it. It's a renegade option, so unless you're playing like a renegade character, you're probably not going to ever notice it. Oh, come on. Ah. I wonder if the gods are watching me. All right, well, let's fill out the map again. I could just not fight them. I could just do the but but no, they're like slaver people. 
I'm not going to just be like, oh, you know, I'll just go about your business. I mean, the fact is, though, I'm a, I'm a bard. Like, I'm a I'm a chaotic neutral, like, chaotic good bard. And it's like, eh, maybe I shouldn't fight him. What's inside? No, but my initial decision making made me fight them. So I have to do it. The problem is when the fight starts, I'm already grouped together. That's the problem. Now that I know better, I could like maybe. Also, I got really lucky on that initial volley. When he shot those two arrows at me, a lot of it missed. Like a lot of it missed. So I'm a little worried as what's going to happen. I had a like I, I think I was I got pretty lucky on how much those that stuff missed me. How much you want to bet on this on this next try? It's going to hit me a lot more. Which is a little unfair to me. Uh, I mean, yeah, I could just come back. Like, I could go over here instead. But, ugh. Well, hold on. Where did I go last? Oh, where, wait, where did I go last time? I didn't go down here just yet. Like, I went somewhere else, didn't I? Like over here, -ish? Ah, whatever. I can always go there later. Yeah, it's a little annoying that I'm going to have to like bank on getting a decent roll on those misses this time. I got lucky on that. I think only like out of like all the ticks that could have happened, I think I only got hit by like two of them. Although Gale did get pretty messed up. I could always try out this flame stick thing on him. I do that. I did go over here first, but since I kind of wanted to just start the fight right now, let's just let's just go over here. I can always look around after I'm done. I smell a trap. Yep, there he is. Now, I could metagame this a bit and move my guys like away from each other a little bit before the fight starts. I could do that. I mean, the game did crash on me when the fight was actually going pretty decent. So I, 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 I'm thinking about it. Ah, excellent choice. Like, okay. just to separate them. Like, Gale can be up here um, because he has, you know, the high ground. My character's going to be doing the talking, so I have no choice but to be somewhere. But... Making me sweat. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I must keep going. Okay. No time to rest. Kinnison will simply step. go time this way. I remember to save it <laughs> as I was walking. Huh. What? Oh, yep. Here Got go. someone sneaking up on us. I'll What's I'll this? still do the same stuff. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Persuasion. Now I got this last time. Oh yeah, I also oh no. I'm not I'm not close. Wait, how come I didn't do friends? Oh, it's because I was someone else, probably. Friends gives me uh advantage. Yep. Friends. Fine. I'll let, but spoil my hunt. And you're dead. What are you doing here? Told you. Gonna kill a slave and fetch back the leather. Not helping a slave catcher. Oh, it put me in a not great spot. Oh no. I'm 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 gonna have to disengage. I wanna do something, but I'm gonna have to disengage because I'm way too close to everything. Also, I didn't get just bombarded right in the beginning. That's cool. Creator. I'm going to have Gale stay up here. Because I think I can reach him from here and I can just have like some nice bonuses from up here. That being said, I did miss my attack. Still on my feet. All right. I'm I, I, I can't stay here. Uh, disengage. 
and run. I don't want to group together, so like go like over. There's really nowhere good to sit. Well, you're gonna move, so. One day I'll catch a break. Me. What's this? Carlac, I want you to come over here. Oh, I'm like, oh, it's because I'm in the way. Here, can I move a little bit more? No. <laughs> Great. Come on, can't stay idle. Oh, it was enough. Good. Count on me. It was just enough. Carlac, I would like you to attempt to hit this guy that has ridiculous defense. Ugh, just miss. But I'm also gonna push you. <laughs> Get out there. Time to push my luck again. And I'm just gonna. I could do it. I, oh, I could. Oh, I could have done my bonus action before I pushed him. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you so I can bring you back. Opportunity attack. Nice. Here comes. Yeah. Yep, there it is. The fire arrow. Okay. I could use cutting words for a pretty good chance for Gale to have not get hit by this. The reason why I'm thinking about using it is in snarling. Am I ensnarled? Did that. Oh, well, this, this is the Insnarl. If he Insnarls me, I can't move, and I'm stuck in fire. I'll use this. Yeah. I kind of don't want that. <laughs> okay. Why do you have a problem with Gale? This was... The, actually, this is a much better start to the fight, honestly. And you know what? I wasn't going to do it. The game... I'm taking advantage of the game being stupid. <laughs> 14 health. You you kind of scare me with all your stuff, and you have the you have the big health. Yep. I kind of want Shadowheart to go engage in this room so it keeps him like from coming this way. Just like last time, we'll kind of defend here and here. So I want you to get in here. On my way. I could do my thing where I cast this and give myself two more armor class. It might be worth it. You know what I should have done before I moved? Cast Bless. Yeah. Bless on three people would be good for this fight. I should have done that. Uh, all right, that's fine. Just, just attack. I could do my bonus War Priest thing. But it's not really worth... It's not really worth that much damage. I'm sure it'll be worth it later, but now it's kind of like... I could also... Summon a spiritual weapon. Or I could still do this. I'm going to do this. All right, here comes the stuff I can't see. Dead bodies. Necromancy. Carlac is surrounded. Gale. Ga somehow Gale is not on fire, which means I'm going to have to use his bonus action to jump out of the fire. <laughs> there you go. Now, Gale has a lot of cool spells. I should probably use some. I can't. I would love to use this spell and hit all four of them, but I don't want to hit Carlac. Same thing with Grease. I don't want to do that either. I could use Chromatic Orb. But these guys have such good defense. I'm not sure it's worth going for it. Like, I don't know what's with these guys, but they have a ton. Yeah, it's because they have high wisdom. I think. Are these wisdom? Is this a wisdom one? Oh, this is just a hit them one. I'm not entirely sure how that works. If anyone's aware of how this game works, why is my chromatic orb only a only a like 45% chance to hit? Like it says high defense. What am I what is it going off of? 
Like, its AC is 18. So I guess that also... I never really thought about it. AC also affects spells, so... Yeah, I think it's just that. Also, there was some talk about, like, my, my, my spell save DC. Like, when someone... When I use a spell like Vicious Mockery, like, what do they have to save off of? Like, what's the number they have to save? I want... I, d t tell me if I'm wrong. Is my save DC for a certain thing 10 plus my modifier? Because mathematically, that seems to be what, what it is. Like, when my when I had, like, a 65% chance to hit with Vicious Mockery, I have a spell save DC of, I think, 14. Which would make sense. Math math mathematically, I think that makes sense. If it's 10 plus modifier, that would be my guess. Ray of Frost, so he can't move very well. Yeah, max damage though. No choice but to keep going. Yeah, no, it's bard time. Look out. I'm a bard. <laughs> they only have six health left. I kind of want to go for a dual hand crossbow attack. If one hits, he's probably dead. Yeah. There it is. Got a crit too. Uh, I'm also going to back off a little bit because zombies might want to eat me. These boots have seen everything. I know there's someone right here, but I should be okay. I'm on the high ground and it should be fine. Carlac. Carlac does have a sweeping attack that can hit both these guys. Swing your weapon in a large arc to attack up to three enemies at once. I could go for it. How often do I get to use this? It does 8 to 16, which means it will not kill them. That's the only reason why I might not go for it. It won't kill them. But it will severely damage them. And the extra fighter damage might finish them off. Let's just go for it. Huah! That was not good damage. That was like minimum damage. Eh. I can push one of them. <laughs> Get her. 75% chance again. Every time I have a chance to like instant kill a zombie because I knock him so far down, I fail when it's like a 75% chance. A little worried about you. Hunter's Mark and I'm blind. Double miss the... Oh, that hurt a little bit. That hurt just a little bit. 18 damage in one attack is kind of ridiculous. Ow. Shadowheart's almost dead. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Bonus action heal. God, that did so much damage. Oh, you know what I'm going for. Moving. You know what I'm going for? Oh, the bonus action was the pull. No, I needed the heal anyway. Um, I could have pushed him to his death. I'm a little upset that I forgot about that again. Well, I don't want to heal myself, but my only heal is a bonus action. Do I still have concentration? Wait, I have bless for two turns. If I heal myself with a potion, I get blessed for two turns. That's actually pretty crazy. I think I lost my. Yeah, I lost it. No, just just miss. <laughs> Shadowheart's not doing good in this fight. The fight is going better overall, just not for her. And the Zambies. They don't do a lot of damage. I'm not too worried about the damage, so don't react. Yeah. That was not worth expending one of my two uh, cutting words I have left. Gale, I, we need help in here. Shadow Heart, I thought Shadow Heart could hold this by herself. It's not looking great. But I might as well finish off the zombies first. Um, I have played Dead Island. It's a fun game. 
on the Xbox version, there was a glitch where literally a nuke went off. It was actually pretty funny. If there was like some kind of weird glitch in the original Dead Island where if you played too long or something happened, the game would just blow up. Like your save file, it was like you would just all die. And we kind of, I was playing with a friend and we kind of like head cannoned it as a nuke went off. We took too long and they nuked the island and killed everyone. It's fun though. Now the, now the zombie game I've never played is Dead Rising. I have never played Dead Rising. I played Left 4 Dead a lot. Left 4 Dead 2 some. I played uh, State of Decay 1 and 2 quite a bit. But I did not play Dead Rising. I'm going to stay up here because I think I still get high ground. Uh, 13, 13, 22. I can't kill any of them. So there's really no point in doing this. Wait a minute. I have the undead thing. Yeah. I can get one of them disadvantage. I can't kill any of them, so I might as well do that. Uh. Another fight. Let's go. All right. I can kill one of them with a barrage here, so do that. He didn't die every time. I talk about how I leave enemies on one health a lot. Yeah, that. <laughs> Carlag. I could kill the one health one. But these two, like, they can easily kill it. So I'll just do this. Or I could go for the push again. Yeah, go for the push. <laughs> that worked out for me. And then I kill this one. She rolled a one. I had a 95% chance to hit and I rolled a one. I don't want to have disadvantage next turn because another another enemy I can't see down here might pop up and kill me. I don't. I, I don't want to chance some random enemy coming out of coming up out of nowhere and just killing me. Misty step. Ah. Would you stop hitting her? <laughs> she has four health. Stop it. Shadow heart not doing great. I need that hunter's mark off of me. Who put the who put the I also have bless on. That didn't help. Um what is the AoE on this? Not very large. Okay. I mean, 64 is not bad. Let me strike too. Yeah. And in a bonus action, as a bonus action, I push you because it's funny. It failed. I could have healed myself with a healing word, but it probably wouldn't give me enough to survive another attack. At this point, it's probably better just let her die and get her up. Oh, he comes, he's coming back. He's coming back. I'll push you back off. All right, Gale. I do something to these guys are dangerous. Do something to these guys. Um... Not a movement. It's not a melee attack. What does it mean, not enough movement? It's that that was a weird glitch. OK. So you can actually get hit fairly easily by magic. It's the other guys that can't. Since it's a single target, chromatic orb or Melf's acid arrow make the most sense. Chromatic orb can do three to 24 and can also put like something slippery under him. And this can put acid under him. Hmm. Acid surface, frosty surface, fire. Um. I'm gonna go for the ice. With glee. Go for it, Gale. 
Well, it missed. It missed. I love when spells miss. It's a complete waste of a spell. But it did make an icy thing on Gurm, so he fell over. <laughs> At least I got that going for me. Uh, sure. Nothing important is ever easy. While someone's prone, they usually take more damage. Or easier to hit. Kind of want to go for the zombie, though, because, well, I mean, Karlak has a ton of health left. She can handle the stupid zombies. Another day, another fight. <laughs> How did you miss someone who's lying down? Uh. God, it's hot in here. Okay, Karlak, I want you to hit this guy really hard. Eh. And then whoosh. Oh, I killed him. He had one health. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. If I stand like right on the edge, can I block him? Probably not. All right, he has to spend his turn mostly getting back up, which is nice. Yep. Oh, he jumped out of it. He's actually smart. If you try to move out of ice, you can fall over. But if you jump, you don't. So I'm just going to let Shadowheart die. Wait, wait, why did you? God, that guy's so good. He can attack twice with his stupid powerful bow or bow thing, crossbow. And I take the hit. Ow! <laughs> Maybe the zombies aren't so stupid after all. That hurt a lot. Um. Ow. Um, I can get her up long range with Kennison as a bonus action. So I need to just do I need I need to start hitting this guy. I could do another spell, or I could do Magic Missile so it doesn't miss. I could do that too. You know what? I'm tired of missing. How are you too far away? How are you too far away? Magic Missile is a long range attack. Why does it say the range of Magic Missile is this? It's because I'm blinded, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep, it's because I'm blind. Oh, that's actually pretty annoying. I can't do anything beyond three feet. That's that's bad. Um, well, I can put myself in danger by doing this, but with ease. Aha, uh -huh, now I'm within range. Burn. How are you still alive? Hold on. That math didn't add up. He had four health. This zombie had four health, and I did more than four health damage, according to the numbers that showed. I think. I'm pretty sure I did more than that. Why is he still... I thought that happened last time, too. Weird. Oh, it's just because I can. All right. I can't even catch my breath. Uh. Wait, there was a blue one which healed him. Why is a fire spell healing him? He's a zombie. You would think if anything, it would do more damage. I'll take the pain away. Yay! Shadow Hearts back up. All right, I'm getting in the fight. I'm in the fight. Probably not a good idea. You know, as much health as this guy has, this guy's kind of the biggest threat for a while. He is that he, he does a lot of damage with that thing. No, nothing. I don't know why he was getting healed by something. I mean, I have lightning damage as a bonus thing sometimes. Maybe that blue one was a damage one. In which case, he should have been dead. I kind of want a vicious mockery of this guy because I'm tired of getting shot constantly by his crossbow. But I could also get some damage on this guy. Do this. 
Yeah, it worked. Oh yeah, World War Z. World War Z is also fun. I lost interest in it fairly quickly. Because it's, I mean, it's just like Left 4 Dead kind of. But it's a cool premise. Just like the horde of zombies that just, like, it's like a giant zombie wave. It's fun. Let's go with fire, baby. Okay. We're going to push this guy to his death, maybe. It only do one damage. But at least he'll be out of my face. And he might be prone, which means he can't move. He's not prone. Okay. Move back here. Enlarge! That's it. <laughs> Could you stop? <laughs> Why does he get to shoot twice and do that? That's a little dumb. Uh, at least he missed twice. Yeah, Back for Blood was not that good. I played it a little bit. I didn't like it. You're enlarged, which means you'll probably do more damage now, right? An additional D4 damage. Yeah. So, threat. You're, this guy's still a threat, though, because he can shoot twice. I kind of want to kill him. Uh, I could heal myself, but I probably wouldn't survive a hit. Or I could heal myself with a potion. I'll do potion here. And I will move. Kind of right here. That way he can't go through the door and attack my mage or something. All right, what's happening down here? Wait, wait, is the zombie doing this to me? What? No, that's the re wait, hold on, who's doing, who's doing this? The novice got Macerate. I don't even know where this, pro oh, he's the invisible one. I forgot about him. Lacerate kind of hurts. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. I have to roll a four, five, or six on the cutting words for it to work. That's a lot. That's a good amount of damage, though, and it could cause me to bleed. Like, I try to save cutting words for the opportunities where not only do I take more damage, but I also have a better chance of doing it. It's a D6. I could roll a one, two, or three and still fail. Take the hit. Only did three damage. Okay, minimum. I forgot about you. I think that was the point. Gale is now in trouble because he's right next to this big guy. I, yeah. Kind of didn't think about that. God, 49%. I'm going to kill the zombie. It's something. It's something I can do. <laughs> I did nine damage. What is with you? Like, what is with the stupid zombies? Like, you have to get them down to one health and then kill them. I don't know what it's. I don't know what's happening. That should have one hundred percent killed him. What if I jump over him? <laughs> It's weird, though. Now he doesn't have an attack of opportunity when I pass him. It's like he is dead. But not. Indeed. I. I won't give in. All right, Kennison, you're kind of in trouble. The fight was going OK. Now it's not. We have three targets that are doing a ton of damage because this guy's back. Now we're kind of like in a losing situation. 60, 55, 60. Ugh, I don't know what to do against these guys. Um, 55, 60, 60. 
hold. I, but I'm within range. Target must be, but I'm with, it, it shows me within range. The range is right here. Can't, what? I wonder if the gods are watching me. That was interesting. Okay, it's really good that worked. <laughs> it's really good that worked. Uh, kill you. Just die finally. I'm also gonna get away from here because if I lose concentration, he becomes not held. <laughs> so let me like kind of get away here. Go over here. Hi. Fuck yes. Okay, this is a guaranteed crit, by the way, which makes me want to go for something big. I could rage. Eh, let's go for regular. Wow. All right. Good. Good hit. Here comes scary and large guy. Ah! Ow! Ow! Please stop. Okay. We're all not feeling good. <laughs> Nothing a short rest can't cure, right? You gotta die. I don't know why I left you alive in the corner, just shooting us. I don't know why I did that. Let's do this. Get him. Minimum, I think that was minimum damage. It was, it was five. If I had got him down to like six or seven, I would have used one of these to finish him off. But now it's, it's, I have to get max damage to kill him. Because I got such a bad roll. It's not worth it. Still held, huh? Can I reach from there? I can. Not guaranteed to kill, though. What are my chances of hitting him with a spell? 75%. I might have to go for the kill with a spell. But I'm just, I'm trying to save my spells. Here, this might kill. Or I'll miss the 70% shot. I'll do that too. Survival is all that matters. Bardman! Get in there. I need to find a way forward. I gotta kill this guy. I, I should have, he only has... 35 health total. I should have killed him a while ago. Good. All right, Karlak. It's go time. That <laughs> hold is really good. I just murdered that guy in two hits. Because when you're held, it's a guaranteed crit. And because she's a barbarian, I think she has a bonus to critting. The <laughs> hold is dumb. I love it. I love hold. Hold's great. I'll just stay here. What do you have? A great axe. Wow. That's actually almost as good as the sword that I have. Two javelins, which I can sell. A fish for some reason. Mm. I don't know why I'm looting right now. I just she has nothing better to do. Gold, scroll of aid, scroll of speak with dead, light hammer. Ooh, heavy armor chainmail, 16 AC. That's that's great for Shadow Art. Nice. Do the zombies have anything on them? I don't know why they would. You missed. Well, get back here. What are you, what are you doing? Like, he's this, guy, this guy's acting kind of weird. Okay. Now, we still have an enemy that has 50 health left, but we can all pile on top of him. So. Oh, she missed. I could do cutting word, but I don't think it's worth it. Not for that. Not for like four damage that it probably does. I was just trying to give it, um, give him the orb debuff. I'm trying to conserve my spells here, so let's go for this. Macabre. 
Nice. Life comes easy these days. It's and it's also it's also very easy for Kennison to uh to conserve his spells, because I can just do this for decent damage. Or I could go for Vicious Mockery to prevent a hit later. Let's do that. We are just not rolling well <laughs> for some of this stuff. That's fine. I can still shoot him once. I can still miss once. I should have moved her. She would have been. Why didn't I move her the first time? She would have been in range this time. Whoops. Now, I do have my crossbow that can make him baned for two turns if I get lucky. Or I'll miss entirely. Hi, friend. Keep missing. Keep missing those attacks. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Thank you. Not only can I see him very well right now, but he has a disadvantage on certain certain things. And it's not much of a disadvantage, but it's something. Uh, let's go for... Good job, Gale. Uh, vicious mockery, so he misses next attack. Yeah. Well, maybe misses. And as a bonus action, I shoot my hand crossbow. Nice, good turn. We catch up on chat here. Uh. Oh, that's a good question. Best zombie game. The zombie game I played the most is Left 4 Dead 1 and then followed by probably State of Decay 2. I think State of Decay 2 is kind of a mess of a game. It's kind of buggy, but it's fun. I like it. It's, it was a fun game. Uh, War Z is also just really good. I think it's just built. I think it's just I spent years playing Left 4 Dead. So World War Z didn't have the, that opportunity. And yeah, the 3D shop leaving is terrible because there's actually some DLC in Awakening I never bought. And I can never get it. Now, here's... I'm going to pitch this idea. It's never going to happen. Here's my... Uh, Nintendo, you listening? Here's my pitch, okay? The reason why 3D... Um, 2DS and 3D... Whatever, just DS games are really hard to port is because you have to remake them with only one screen. Some games you could do that, like Pokemon. The bottom screen is just like extra menus most of the time. Although in Gen 5, in Gen 6, there's like a mini game with a touchscreen, so can't do that. The Wii U would have been perfect for 3DS and just DS games. Because you can, I, know, I know the way it works is the, 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 the Wii like tablet is supposed to be either the screen itself or like just an add-on. Well, maybe it could work that way. If you play a DS game, the, the, the TV is the, is the top screen and the Wii U gamepad is the bottom screen. Unfortunately, the Wii U died, and the Switch can't do it because it only has one screen. But hear me out on this. The next Switch, right? The Switch 2. What if there's a mode where you can play on the TV and use the gamepad? Meaning, if they ported DS games to it, you could play on the TV with the main screen and use the use the the mobile you know Twitch pad thing. Maybe you could maybe you could plug it into the TV with cables instead of having to use the dock. And you could use that touchpad as the bottom screen. That would be the perfect way for them to port DS games to the Switch. It would I would love to see it. They'll probably never do it, but Nintendo, if you're listening, I'm giving you a good idea here. I don't understand why people hate, like, companies hate porting stuff so much. Like, a lot of the time, you really don't have to do much to it. <laughs> Squ Notice what Square Enix, how Square Enix ports stuff, but it's just more money. Like, the fact that Nintendo had a few limited time release games, I st still baffles me. Like, the uh, digital version of uh, Mario 64, how it was, like, temporary. Why? That's just less money. I know there's the, the sales tactic of everyone buys it because it's limited. But also, why not just bring it back like a year later? It's just, 
I, I, I might buy it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> or when they came out with those two Fire Emblem games on the Switch, Shadow Dragon and the other one, those were limited time. You can't get them anymore. I just, why? Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play those anyway. Um, those two Fire Emblem games are like strict ports. They have like none of the quality of life improvements that the newer games have. The DS version of Shadow Dragon considered much better. If you can play it. All right, I did my attack. Everything's good. Now this is my happy place. Okay. Go for it. Not a bad hit. You should be dead. You're going to get one more turn and then you're dead. Vicious mockery probably caused that to miss. Good job, Kennison. it missed. Okay, Kennison, you're going for the kill. Got him. Find the missing boots. <laughs> Quest updated. You, you murdered the person looking for the Shepherd. boots. So why do I have to find the boots? We found Thala, the deep gnome slave. She must have the boots. And if we can find the slave. Order us to run away slave and went to live. The slave has a pair of boots that belong to the nursery. The Dwergar died before we could find the slave. If we find the boots, we should bring them to their original owner. Their sergeant. Okay. Anything of use? The wording's a little confusing because none of these people are named that, right? It said like this person has the boots. I guess I can track them down and then give them back to the original owner. I... We have a Dwergar Antidote. Nullifies the effects of certain Dwergar poisons, grants advantage on saving throws against being poisoned, and grants resistance to poison damage. Okay. Scroll of Vampire Touch. Touch an enemy to siphon their health force. Oh. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Ooh. Exterminator's Axe. It's a 1 to 17 Great Axe. Scourge of Pests. Deal an additional 1 to 6 fighter damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. I'd rather just hold on to the sword that deals extra D4 fighter damage to everything. Uh, we have an Arrow of Roaring Thunder. Dagger, and eh, a bunch of junk after that. So... This, uh, never mind, hold on, hold on now. This sword does 9 to 22 with a plus D4 fire. The acid's due to a ring, that can be on either one. 9 to 22 plus a D4 fire. This does 8 to 24 with a D6 fire, but only to plants, insects, and small creatures. 8 to 24, 9 to 22. Damage-wise, this is better. But if you equate in the fact that the D4 fire is on everything, whereas this is very, very situational, plants, insects, or small creatures. Notice how we're fighting mostly people. That means this basically does 10 to 26. Because that one D... If, if you roll a 1 on the D4, it would be... You would get... 10 to 23. But you could also end up getting uh, 13 to 26. This is still better. Barely, but it's still better. Unless I find myself fighting plants, insects, or small creatures, then I can switch to this, and it'll do more. It's just they're both slashing. I kind of don't want to take up inventory space for just two slashing weapons. Eh, we'll see. Like, like, I, like, having her have, like, a blunt weapon and a piercing weapon makes sense. Oh, I didn't give this to anybody. This was the thing I forgot to equip on somebody. You get one healing word and one mass healing word spell. 
I believe it's long rest. Yeah. I could give this to Shadowheart just so she has even more healing, or I could give it to somebody else. Honestly, someone like Gale might make sense. I have healing word. She has healing word. Giving a next, giving like a single healing word spell to Gale might be fun. However, Shadowheart has bonuses to healing. Like if I use this, it'll most likely trigger the uh, temporary hit points and bless. So kind of want to do this. Might make more sense on Gale overall, but the bonus I have to healing, I'll put it on her. Oh yeah, heavy armor. Heavy armor. Hmm. 16 AC as opposed to 15. I will miss the radiant shockwave thing. Wait a minute, isn't this worse? Hold on, 17 AC. No, it's one better. That's because her dexterity is at zero. That's why it's better. This gives dexterity, you get a dexterity bonus of zero from your to your AC with dexterity, but my dexterity is, zero, is 10. So. Um, is this better for you? Hey, ho. 15 AC minus one slashing damage or 15 AC radiant. Now she doesn't have radiant damage. OK, I can sell this. I think uh, Gale needs light armor, by the way. I don't think I have any extra light armor on me. So I need to find a light armor for Gale to increase his AC by like one or two. Oh, next time it's going to be item management time. It's going to be item management and crafting alchemy potions. Now, notice how hurt we are. First off, we're pretty hurt. So I could do a short rest to get some HP back. Do I want to expend, expend, or no, I guess that makes sense. Do I want to use anything that comes back in a short rest? I've got a long road ahead. No, this takes a long rest, long rest, long rest. Are These are long rest. There is work to do. These are long rest. These are also long rest. That's only short rest, but it's not useful right now. Um, I need to remember when I use this, that adds 10 to my attack roll for like almost a guaranteed hit, probably it's a short rest thing so I can use it more often. Gale, they're all long. Yeah, OK, nothing. Let's go ahead and take a short rest. That was actually a pretty good one. That hit the spot. Gale can just use a single potion and we should be in good shape. Yeah, not bad. No one back home will we only expended. I only I only used one level one and level one level two spell of my bard. Don't burn I used none of my rages. I used stop. one level one spell and none of my charges. Lost and I used control. one. Le wow, that fight went pretty good considering I only used like four spells total. What to do? That's not bad. So we already looted you. Best be on my way. Now, I'm a little disappointed there wasn't like better stuff here. I was kind of expecting some real. I mean, the axe is good. If I didn't have the sword already, that axe would be amazing. Wait. There's one more corpse left. <laughs> there's only one. There's because because like its master is dead, though. I think the corpse is just stuck. Yeah. I'm evil now. At least things have stayed Why interesting. Am I, I want stuff. Give me, give me stuff. Oh, it did trigger. Okay. Well, it's a single it's a single enemy and we all get to go before it goes. So Let's just uh take care of this real quick. A tale for the ages. Oh, 
Smell blood. The hammer's gonna fall. Horlack, you wanna move? <laughs> This game still has a little, this game can be a little buggy sometimes. Like I just clicked Carlec to attack and she just didn't move. Yep, there it is. The zombie has some kind of special thing where they have like one health left no matter what. Undead fortitude. When reduced to zero hit points, we gain one instead. Yep, that's what it is. It kept happening. Still breathing. I am, am I really gonna take an attack here? No, Shadowheart can go. Okay. All right, not gonna move. Cool. I refuse to take an attack from this thing because of that. There you go. Some nice, juicy three experience. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, a lot of stuff. I like loot. A book. I bet that'll fit in my pack. Something good here, I hope. Uh oh. <laughs> Have I triggered something? I don't think. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, what? Oh! I get to go to somewhere else in the Underdark from here? I had a feeling the Underdark was going to be so big it was going to be multiple areas. So there. There's a way to go to a different place. Interesting. As much as I want to continue with, I like how I just keep getting sidetracked. It was to go to the goblin camp, and then I got to the Underdark. Now it's help the mushroom people. Now it's deal with these. <laughs> I just keep getting sidetracked so much. Is that just a stick? Yeah, it's a club. It's a club. It's a stick. Oh. A scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. I'll take a free spell. I can also teach it to uh, to Gale since he's a wizard. Wizards can take the one use spell scrolls and a little bit of money and just learn it. So I'm wondering if this takes me to a different area or it just takes me like across the across here. Although it looks like this also goes across, so. Anything else I can loot? Hmm. Not bad. That fight wasn't, you know, for being like a bunch of like having like a level seven guy and you know, like that fight was not that bad. I, di I think I left the, um, I got lucky on the axe guy. He missed a lot of attacks. A lot of attacks. He missed that, he missed that ray of sickness like three times on me. What's up here? That just leads back up here. I actually haven't gone up here yet. I went up here the first time. So I don't think I did. And this is where I can continue to go down here, which we'll be doing next time. This is where we'll start. Um, we pretty much connected all this stuff. Yep. We either can go um, the boat way, go somewhere, or just continue down this way. Which will probably lead into here. Yeah. 